Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. I am here with no one. No one here exists. You're just, if you hear other people, you're going mentally insane like me. Right! <laughs> yeah, if you hear anyone talking, it's obviously the feds. We're talking through your micro, uh, not microphone. We're talking through your headphones or something. Yeah. All right. Now to tell a good story. Oh. I like wontons. Oh. Hmm? Oh, sweet Jesus. What? I, I'm looking at my own, like, Discord stream thing, and it, it if, if I had the ability to get seizures, I would right now. It is flashing white and black rapidly. Oh, Jesus God. Christ. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, my God. Ow. As soon as I open OBS, it stopped. But anyway, Jesus Christ. Anyway, all right, all right. Here goes the story. This is back to when uh, I had a puggle. If you know what that is. A puggle. Half pug, half beagle. Oh yeah, so incredibly oh, okay. fucked up. Yeah. All right. So oh, there's tiny, tiny face, giant ears. God. Yeah. Adorable, but also Jesus Christ. But, um, see, I also had a Shih Tzu, if you know what those are. Like, it's... Yeah. Shit on you. yeah. Shut up, Pasha. Alright, so, the Shih Tzu and the Puggle were outside and whatnot. I didn't know there was a, a really fucking big hawk out there. Oh, God. No. I know where this is going, and I'm upset. So, oh, why is Discord? Oh, you see it too. Yeah, it's flashing. Why? Oh, well, maybe it's because I have to open the Word document. It's better. No. Okay. Oh, I'm... now it is. No, okay. never mind. Never mind. It's still flashing. Um, Tear stream. Let's go. This is a. There it goes. Test if you. I've ever experienced a seizure. Yeah. Please don't. Uh, please don't have a Caesar. A Caesar. <laughs> please don't have a Caesar salad. <laughs> yeah, anyway, stabbed a, a few times, despite the fact that the Caesar, right. the salad, was actually not named after Caesar. Now, it was named after the same Caesar. Now to continue the story. Uh, so you know that there was a puggle, a Shih Tzu, and a hawk, like a really big hawk, right? This sounds like the setup for like one of those bar racist jokes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this the hawk apparently guns for a Shih Tzu. That that's all I know. It's because mm -hmm. the puggle brings it in the house, sees the beat the crap out of it till we get it the hawk away from them and put a blanket on top of them. <laughs> what the? F <laughs> that what puggle kind of took no shit. Shit. What drugs was your puggle smoking? We think they acted this way because when we got her, she was an abused dog. That People would forcefully breed her and take her puppies away from her before they can nurse. So she's very defensive oh, yeah. of other dogs. So she was a, a, a puppy mill dog. Yeah. Uh... Poor baby. Oh. Yeah, she was very defensive over a Shih Tzu. Which is probably why she took down the hawk. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, we got told when the park ranger picked it up that the wing was completely busted. Yeah. <laughs> she was she... taking no shit. <laughs> no shits. I mean, you gotta keep in mind, generally speaking, <laughs> birds are pretty fragile animals. They got hollow bones. Ha -ha. Yeah, but, got um, them, got them hollow bones. The bird also had to get surgery on the chest area because there was um 
ribs that were broken too from being tossed around. <laughs> and like the, the hawk was bigger than the pu puggle. You would think the hawk would fight back, but no, the bird just sat there. <laughs> Well, it probably didn't have much of an ability to fight back. Like, <laughs> it, it, like a hawk's two main things are claws and beak. Mm -hmm. If those aren't effective, they don't have any other way to attack. That's like even remotely uh, viable. Viable, yeah. Like, it's not like they can fucking punch with their wings. <laughs> They do any bees. significant they damage. Now, yeah, they're not bees. They don't vibrate so hot that they literally melt their opponents. Now, yeah. if if you wanna, if you're thinking, oh, we opened the front door and they came in with the hawk. No, they went. They brought the talk through a tiny dog door. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they were out for fucking blood. <laughs> I did not know dogs could form gangs. I yes. just, I just, I knew, I told Jiri this once before, but I wasn't sure if they remember. Oh no, bookworm. Ironically enough, uh, um, falcon punch. Ironically enough, the main thing that differentiates, uh, falcons from hawks and eagles and their hunting strategy is that they actually punch their prey. They they get going super fast and then punch other birds out of the air with their uh, feet. Falcon punch. So that, that, uh, that dude that says falcon punch is actually right, huh? Kinda. Yeah. Also, before I started to stream, I saw a bunch of blue things, so I decided to fix most of them. <laughs> oh yeah, I know you're making a fat. Captain Falco reference. Yeah. But yeah. I, I I I like birds. Yeah, so I I thought that you would really like that story since I never told you two about it or book. Uh <laughs> just a tiny ass dog to get on a big bird. <laughs> and the bird lived somehow. Jesus. Yeah. Honestly, as far as I know, they were rehabilitated, but I don't think they were let out to go in the wild. Yeah, understandable. Probably would fucking die. I mean, it, it, one of its wings was like, completely busted, so I feel like that's not something that can be completely healed. Uh. But imagine imagine being a hawk, right? You know, <laughs> prime predator uh, can, can eat pretty much anything that can fit in your mouth, right? And you punch other birds. You, you go swoop down on what you think is easy prey. This big ass, not even big ass, this small ass dog with floppy ass ears and a, <laughs> like, a face that is like obvious signs that it is incredibly inbred goes up to you, stares you down, and you can't even remember what happens next. Okay, so here's <laughs> here's one thing. I wanted to wait till you guys after it end the story. There's one right, thing about quick. this. Uh oh, sorry. All right, real quick. It's very important because this is going to bug me. Child. Hawks yeah. do not hunt like that. Falcons hunt like that. God damn it. Ha hawks act Hawks act very similarly to eagles where their main mode of doing things is grasping things, commonly picking them up and then dropping them. So you ready to while, hear the oh, while, while falcons do the fucking falcon punch. Yeah, you you ready to hear the last bit of information about this puggle that's going to make you question how they lost, how the uh, how they won against the falcon. Hawk, um, they are almost completely blind. <laughs> this dog has fucking like superpowers at this point. Guys. Okay, your dog, right? <laughs> did you ever like consider that your dog? Yeah, I was gonna say, did you ever consider that your dog is Daredevil? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, they had this condition called cherry eyes, where they had this red flesh thing that would appear under their eyes. Your dog is Daredevil. Yeah, we got it surgically removed, which was like three thousand dollars. Christ. Yeah, but she can only see up the shadows, so she had to like bonk into things that recognize things where things were, and she somehow took down a hawk. So you're describing Daredevil, but it's a dog. <laughs> we don't know how they saw the hawk. Daredog. 
motherly instincts. <laughs> Dare dog I can't camel. believe that that dog has more motherly instincts than my own birth giver. <laughs> I can. Dare dog camel. <laughs> that dog has blind fighting skill maxed out, so I've got dog to spirit drink meat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right? Yeah. After the stream, I have added, I have modified the conversation between Bright and Radler in my story. If you want to look it over, I have highlighted the talking so it's easier to find the conversation. Okay, I'll look at it. Okay, finally. Yeah. Before we move on, uh, I, I want to issue issue the fuck is issue issue, issue <laughs> yeah. a, a bit of a correction about uh the conversation about biological sex yesterday because uh after stream I did my standard winding down by uh exhaustively looking through uh science communication articles trying to find like some extra opinions on this topic. And basically, I found a really good article from uh, a couple of um, philosophers of science who basically made something very clear that uh, biological sex, when we say that in a social context, it's commonly a misnomer because it is quite literally defined as this person was using it. Like, very strictly, it is entirely about gametes. Like, that's how biological sex is defined. The issue arises when, with the fact that biological sex, as it's defined, just does not work within social systems. And thus we have uh, social sciences that create, uh, like, bimodal, the bimodal model of sex, specifically talking about a human. So basically, that conversation with this guy was um, us both doing a category error. I was applying the social uh, definition of sex to a biological context, and he was trying to apply the biological definition of sex to a social context, where neither of these definitions work very well within those contexts. Like, the, the way that um, the authors of that article put it is you can't... Uh, like biological sex was not designed as a definition to be used in trying to understand who to give medical care to or who should be fairly put into sports. Like it, it just doesn't describe that. So like for social situations, we have to develop a different definition. That is all. Why is everything so quiet all of a sudden? We're listening to you talk, and I'm looking for a oh, pic. I... Oh, wait. I was oh, listening to you talk slash thinking, did I yeah. do right by making bright characters stubbornly eat pizza as messy as possible? Because Radler suggested they should use a fork while eating deep dish pizza. Hmm. See, Bookworm says, wow, people misusing science to be hateful, who would have thought? Yeah, like, uh, this person remains very stupid. Like, they, they, they literally said that gender studies isn't a science, but at the very least, in that manner, I was also in the wrong, because I was also engaging in a category error. But gender study is a science. Well, yeah. Like, th this person was obviously still a dingus, but they were a dingus in a very specific manner that was not the way that I thought they were also being a dingus. But actually, a good way to put it, uh, they are the sort of person that's so heavily focused on the hard sciences that they just disregard the soft sciences. Which is obviously incredibly stupid but i think that's where they were coming from 
and I actually like DM'd them to so an engineer. I mean, I mean, uh, the click was an engineer, and he ain't that stupid. <laughs> Like, um, but anyway, um, uh, what's this term? Blah. Right, I DM'd him, and they didn't respond yet, so they might have just moved on. But, meh. Anyway, correction issued. I was both sort of right, but not in the right way. I'm just gonna. I'm just going to assume I misheard what you said, and that you said correction. What did you think I said? I think Discord cut off your feed. Correction. Oh. <laughs> oh. Good job, okay. Hatchet. Well, I didn't add the E, okay? It was just the R. So an engineer. Yeah, just most engineers don't have many social science classes and so have a disregard for them a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I've definitely seen that. that and, and, uh, that's the other thing. Like, I think that's a heavy part of what led to like anti theist and atheist YouTube heading very far down the alt right pipeline because they were just so heavily invested in hard sciences that they practically just completely disregard soft sciences. Well, psychology became a science because it had to because it was literally steeped in sexism and racism. And it's like, okay, yeah. we need to fix our our stuff. People won't take us seriously because we we literally have no proof of of much of anything. And yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, like that's it took a lot of people, a lot of studies. They they have fixed their stuff. In the same way that while there's still blatant issues with the field, anthropology is significantly better than it once was. Yes. What anthropology is no longer grave robbers. Huzzah. Well, that sort of thing does still happen, but there's a lot more checks and checks in place to try to keep that from happening. And like, it have... still occasionally happens and is like a pain in the ass. I think like one of the main examples I know of was uh the absolute uh shit show that occurred around uh i think a person i think it was nicknamed the oregon man basically a, a native american skeleton that was found somewhere in oregon um that was taken in and studied but there was a absolute like shit show of a lawsuit with uh one of the local Native American tribes to actually be able to get the remains back and give them proper burial rights. Which technically the individual like massively predates that tribe. Like Yeah, I've they, they would have been uh, in my classes yeah. on and my classes on I forgot what it's called. Uh but they said that Technically, there was no proof that he was part of that tribe or had the same beliefs because he was yeah. so old. He predated the tribe. He, There was no proof he was from that tribe at all. Yeah, but I think it's also still fair for that tribe to have uh, eventually been able to claim his remains and give him some kind of burial rights. I'm not sure if it is fair because... As the as it was pointed out, there's literally no proof he was ever part of their tribe. There, mm -hmm. there was nothing on his remains that suggested it. Only he was from the area, therefore they claimed him, which is not how it should work. You don't get to claim any random ancient person that may or may not be one of your ancestors. 
they didn't even know if he was or wasn't because he was that old. I mean, that's fair. Yeah. Um, also, uh, to people who have received DMs from me, I have sent uh, the pictures of the Puggle. Oh, that was the Puggle? I I only took a quick glance at it and I thought it was just Busta. No. If you look at the second picture, you can see how their eyes are correctly. Because they don't have whites in their eyes. It's just pure black. <laughs> well, I didn't think that was Aww. Busta because they have a different body frame, but I did not. What is a Puggle? Half Beagle, half pu uh, Pug. Why... Why is your puggle chewing on something that says autism? <laughs> and autism speaks merch, and autism speaks merch is a bitch ass motherfucker, and I honestly think that is very oh. based. Then yeah, that's that. that, 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 that if I didn't realize that was autism speaks merch. Yeah, good. I, Go I right. Good, so. good puggle. The thing is, I good got puggle. that ball for free, so I just gave it to the dogs. Yeah, good, good puggle. You you gave your dogs autism. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> the dog ate too many autism speaks toys and became autistic. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? Uh, also, by the way, when you were when you were talking about um the, the you know the very serious stuff about that one tribe, uh, if you heard me giggling, uh, the reason I was giggling was not at the the story, but because of this fucking picture. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I was so tempted to put it in Dr. Bright canon of just, qu just oh my like, god tagged as, <laughs> just tagged as Dr. Aaron Bright eating a salad <laughs> oh, can I can I put it in canon <laughs> what no no that should not be also, done also you misspelled canon you put two ends which is the weapon tree and the one end is like canon as in that's on purpose Oh. You know, chainsaw cannon? Fuck you. <laughs> that's, that's on purpose. But yeah, you know what? Fair enough on that, Jerry. Yeah. I, I'm basically just like going off of some vague memories I had from Trey the Explainer. Yeah, I had like classes, but multiple classes as it pertains to anthropology. Uh, yeah. Because honestly, I went to I I liked any class that was relating to learning about ancient humans, and that was amazing. I like anthropology classes, and when it comes to like normal plain anthropology, and when it comes to uh, social anthropology, and the other classes, it's all amazing. Yeah. Anyway, you ready to start working on the Word document? Yippee! Define ready. I also never caught to read my fanfiction because I was also very afraid, and I still very much am. Remain afraid. Uh, well... Okay. <laughs> well, if we get chapter two, once we get finished with chapter three, because I think I, I want to get these done as much as possible, then well, uh, I'll see, because apparently work wants me to do, in my week off, majority of it overtime. Oh! Uh, so, yes. So, I'll choose a date for a horror stories, and then you can be the first one dragon. Or, or last. It doesn't matter. You get to choose. Because I know you wanted to do that, so I'll tell you the date and everything. Let me set that up. I also, I want to announce one thing. Me, Virus, and a friend of theirs will be doing a collab stream at some point. Oh, really? Virus is streaming? Yeah, Virus is streaming. I did not know that. Yeah. Uh, they made me a moderator. <laughs> oh. And then... For that's, most of the stream, the for most of the stream, I was doing shit <laughs> like said, I have power, and even planning to break in the foundation to ride six eight two, and got their friend to help me out. <laughs> it was funny, but uh, yeah. 
So yeah, we will be doing that at some point. Mm. This will be fun. But yeah. Uh, anyway, let's get on to the work document. <laughs> well, Are we gonna do this like we did last night, where like we're not we're reading I, it out? I mean, we can, but we're not. I'm not gonna make what we're reading out into the video. I'm gonna read it out like l later, like during the horror story stream. I think I just want this is just a correction have stream. It, have an edit video before that because. You don't want it to be like yeah. chapter one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because that one's going to be heavily edited, and I'd rather just... We go through and edit it out. Make sure it's all good to go. Yeah, then... if everything's fixed before a uh, read-through, then you won't need heavy edits, and it won't be a pain in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but for this, do we... Uh, do you want me to continue reading? Or, like, the way that we go through it? Uh, sure. But also, what's actually funny, with the blue stuff, Word automatically put things in past tense for me. It was like... Oh, that's nice. It was like, yeah, we know what we were doing earlier. Let's put this in past tense. <laughs> it's like, hey, hey, dipshit. <laughs> Tenses. Do you not know how to do time? Right. What is time but an illusion used to confuse? I am the time of keepers. This is an important. Uh, th this is a good time to mention that there is like a small Scandinavian island that abolished time because it's just so useless for them up there. Yeah. Us. Here's one thing. I know I wrote chapter two probably when I was really tired. At at one point in the the story because. I spelled shook as S H A U K. Oh damn. S H A K. Shock? <laughs> What's that? Shock? It sounds like a slur. <laughs> like that 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 rolls off the tongue exactly like you would expect expect the slur to like oh man those damn shucks over the oh god <laughs> it's probably oh, not man. even a slur but you could probably use it as a, at a character and be like how dare you call me that and then you say it's not even a word <laughs> actually that might i i need to remember that that could actually be a useful slur for one of my stories yeah <laughs> why are you inventing slurs <laughs> because i'm creating a like a an a dark fantasy isekai that deals heavily with racism. Yeah. All right. And now silence. <laughs> I'm right. Oh wait, that's right. On your head. I forgot that I had literally just volunteered to be reading it. Wait, I... before 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 you read, before Damn you it. read, before you read, please please look in in VC chat real quick. Look at that cat. Look at him. Oh my god. Wait. <laughs> hey Hatchet, apparently that word does exist. It means love and H A U S A. I don't know how to say that word. Osa? Yeah, apparently it means fuck? love. Google pulled that it up can... for them. Very good. It means I'm love. Glad I didn't say a slur on stream. <laughs> I don't want to pull. I don't want to. I don't want to pull a bright. Hey. hey. To Bright's credit, she didn't say the slur on stream. To her credit. No, she did. It was the G one. I, I did. I. The, the G oh, slur wait, for oh, Romani yeah, folks. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I didn't know it was a slur, and I felt bad for it. At least, hey, if it makes you feel any better, right? In My Little Pony fandom, a while ago, uh, so there was a really popular song that used the G slur in its lyrics, and has millions of views. Oh and no! The, 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 the singer literally came out with, "I am so sorry. I did not know at the time, uh, and I, I'm pretty sure worked with a different brand, uh, different band to like make a new song without that slur." 
Yeah, because like I I like a lot of people seem to have come from this position of privilege where they just lose the fact that that's a slur and start using it to more mean like wandering people and like travelers. I've seen a lot of people but, use it for horses, which I feel like is probably worse than oh, it just yeah, oh, being a slur. Oh, 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 no. Like, it's a type of horse, but also, like, ooh. Uh, book book oh. one says, uh, okay, it's the language of indigenous American, Afri Afri Americans. American, Africa. We were talking about Native Americans earlier. Indigenous Africans who live in the region we know of as northern Nigeria. Oh. Nice. Yeah. I, I figured by the, like, I, 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 I was going to guess, since it's a language that I had absolutely never heard of, it was one of the numerous African languages. Yeah. Also, there's one thing I find funny about the Word document, uh, in Word, Word is that Laffy... His first name, it, it worse he's no problem with. It's his last name they have a problem with. <laughs> I mean that that sort of makes sense. Laffy McFuckface. What? What? Why did you say that? Right. Is that not his last name? No, it's Mick Lafferson. <laughs> Why is there a screeching creature in the background? I will kill that fucking yawning. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Spood, I called you a creature. <laughs> Spood, are you a creature? Yes, I'm a creature. <laughs> Spood, are you a creature? They just I answer. I didn't hear. Yes. They said, they said yes. Okay. Hi, creature. How are you? That sounds so wrong. Hi, human. How are you? <laughs> Yay. Anyway, we ready to start? Actually. No, no, Spood. You got it wrong. You're supposed to say hi, Parasite. How are you? <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> I'm not a parasite, okay? You, know, you want to know what I am? A parasite. I am simply an opossum. And I have the lifespan of 20 years in captivity. Wait, no, hold on. Two in the wild. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, Bookworm actually looked up, like, what Lafferson's last name would be. And it would mean, like, a uh, son of laughter. Well, it, that's, I think, I think that's just, like, inferring off of. Yeah like pretty common knowledge i actually don't know much about last name stuff it's important to remember that if a name is jeff for son it means son of jeff we should kill jeff no we should not let jeff procreate all that i know yeah. is that my last name that i have right now i'm not outing it but apparently oh, yeah. in some languages it means tree and other it means, I kid you not, some, in one language it means hell. <laughs> Free hell. Oh, for fuck's sake. But, but, we're not bringing up Jeff the Killer, okay? Oh god, that story is so bad. My last name is very boring. That means my dad's dad's dad... His family probably came from some specific area in Spain. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no bookworm. <laughs> you know what? Now I'm curious. I want to see. Let me go check what my last name means. No. <laughs> my dead name means sword. <laughs> oh. I like how we just keep going farther away from the actual stream itself. <laughs> All right. Well, the tree and hell thing was actually what the teacher told me. So we had to give our last names to the teacher, and they would give us information. So it could be wrong. I think your teacher might just be really mean. <laughs> I, I, I... I, interesting. I, I know that 
my family primarily got its name from the German side, but apparently the name originates in ancient Anglo-Saxon uh, England. Right. Well, they weren't fully wrong. Apparently, my last name means a small wood or a grove of trees. Nah. <laughs> it does not mean hell, though, which I'm disappointed. <laughs> Yeah, I think your teacher was just bullying you. I'm trying to see where... It's not giving me... The site is not telling me if it's, like, got a very specific name. Spelling variations, contemporary notes, citations... Honestly, I feel like one of these days, I really hope uh, Bright just plays two trucks on stream. I think that would be very funny. By Lemon Demon. Lemon Demon oh, is and then write the songs. That's a cool Oh, song. and then, like, a different part, uh, a different thing, Ancestry.com says that it's uh, an Americanized version of a German last name. I can't believe that they turned the whatever the fuck the German word for sausage is into hot dogs. How does it feel to how does it feel to be turned into a hot dog? Well, it's not like sausages originated from Germany. They're good older. Point. Good point. Good point. Oh yeah, I forgot to tweet the stream. Oh, it's a name ranking. Hell yeah. Where's my name on the name ranking? Seven. At the bottom. Fuck you all. <laughs> Shut up, Buckworm. <laughs> You know what? I want to go see if actually J.K. Rowling has me blocked or not. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> she does not. <laughs> I can see everything. Damn, I, I am incredibly surprised to learn that this name is... 95% uh, of people who have this name are in fact... Non-Hispanic whites. Both of the options that my birth giver could have been given are very white. My grandmother's maiden name is Irish, and I'm pretty sure. So, and I'm pretty sure my. I actually know. Oh wait, I gotta look up my grandpa's, which is like the current one. Um. Are we ever gonna get to the word document itself tonight? <laughs> I'm almost. I'm. I'm. Okay, so now I will search what the German version of the name means. Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, Hebrew, Latin, or German. And it means f a farmer, greater, or bright. <laughs> well, but damn. Last time was a variation of bright. <laughs> well, that definitely means my child, then. <laughs> what are the fucking chances? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Wait. Oh my. What? Uh, my last name mean it means one who came from brook <laughs> in low and swampy land. I'm a swamp creature. <laughs> yeah, you're a cryptid. How does it feel? You're the snalligator. Snalligoster. Snalligoster, whatever. Snally, <laughs> snally. You're the fucking. You're the skunk ape. The skunk. Ape. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, Booker, this sounds about right. <laughs> you uh, ever just good to good to know that I'm apparently a swamp creature. I'm gonna change my name. What did you change your name to? 
Oh, you're still at MUI too old. Do you ever just watch as one of your your uh, YouTuber that you really like the content of slowly uh, slowly dives deeper and deeper into pretty much invalidating you as a person and the community as a whole? There we Why go. I watch oh my god. Damn, I watch. I watch that happen. Jesus. Uh, I, I, I'm just witnessing the downfall of a creator that I like to say, but and all they're doing is spreading lesbophobia, and I don't think mm. they understand, or at least they're refusing to, because they keep buckling down that Frankie can't be a lesbian because they're non-binary, and not only that, they're going as far as censoring the word lesbian, and their justification for it is, quote, it's tech. It it would be wrong to put the word lesbian because Frankie is non-binary. Hmm. Also, bright. That's the wrong cryptid. It's Snollygoster. I know. I like chose this one. On, I chose this on purpose. Piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking Snallygaster. <laughs> fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Anyway, can we continue on to the Word document? <laughs> no. We're going to continue sitting here staring at it while getting nothing done. Right. So this following name was recognized. Wait, what? Wait, what, Bookworm? Racist crypt. Wait, what was that a thing? Uh, just... <laughs> trying to think. I don't know. No, I, I don't think it was. Book. <laughs> I feel like it was. Hold on, let's look at. I'm looking it up then. It's not a gangster okay. Yes. Well, you don't have to say that. I can just head to the cryptids. Oh, yeah, and you even spelled the one that you did wrong. Is Snally Gaster real? <laughs> no. No, it is not. Let's <laughs> uh... I said racist. I said racist. <laughs> Let's see. Go to Cryptid Wiki. Not background. I couldn't find anything. Only oh, yeah. or just a snout, uh, snouty gaster. So it are in my recency yeah. <laughs> bookworm. Actually, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Anyway, let's just get to the word document. <laughs> Uh, hang on. Let me read something real quick. Alright. Let me click that. Okay. <clears throat> the Fresno Nightcrawler, also known as the Fresno Alien, is a cryptid that has made two appearances so far. One in Fresno, California, and the other in Yosemite National Park also in California. In both sightings, it's only seen in video footage. However, a man in Portland has also claimed to have seen the creature. Sightings. The Caramel Area Creature. The witness, a 60-year-old former Marine yet to be named, and his wife were driving near Caramel on... December 12th, 2014, when they came up over a hill and saw a seven 
foot tall, slender gray creature, which is now known as the Caramel Area Creature. The unnamed witnesses said the following. We recently bought a place in Fort Hill area in High East Highland County. We first noticed after about 30 days of living here that we suddenly have a perfect circle that stays flesh green, fresh green, no matter what weather, in our front yard. On Friday night the 12th, we were driving home after turning onto Caramel Road, which leads to our road. We went around the curve by Caramel Church, then up a small incline and approximately 10 feet over the incline and in front of our truck. The alien ran across the road and into the woods. There have been many possible sightings of the nightcrawler in the form of the caramel area creature, a thin, armless, pale, white humanoid creature seen in Ohio. Ohio. Do I bring nightcrawlers? The creature has also been spotted in Yosemite, where footage was again taken, what appears to be another security camera. This time, there are two creatures, one being very small, less than 0.5 meters, and the feet of the creatures can be clearly seen, as well as what happens, or what appears to be some sort of webbing connecting the knees to the upper body on at least the larger one. The cryptid has also been videotaped in Poland, this time from what appears to have been a handheld camera. Judging from the shakiness of the footage, the creature cannot be seen for too long, but appears to have similar traits to the larger one taped in Yosemite. Explanations an alien or extraterrestrial being, a new species, possibly a primate with short arms, a misidentified deer standing up. <laughs> Wait, what? Standing upright? Do deer? I was trying to keep my monotone. What? Are you okay? Uh, steer. St a deer standing upright. So one of the one of the theories to explain this is a deer standing on its hind legs like it's deer simulator. I I don't think real deers can do that. No, no, they can't. Who 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 edits I've this seen, wiki like, page? Throughout my life, a buttload of mule deer. It's California. That's the deer we have. Um, yeah. And none of them ever did that. I'm I've bored of them, reading this. I've seen but them yeah. eat catnip. I've seen them eat ginger. I've seen them jump. I've seen them run. I've never seen them stand on two legs. Fucker breaking my ginger so it could eat the goddamn catnip. What's the human equivalent of catnip? Catnip is not a drug. It's literally just an herb that's healthy for animals that pe the animals really like. I don't really know why they like rubbing on it, but it's not a drug. It has no drug effect at all. That doesn't answer my question. I don't know of a healthy herb that humans like to rub on, so nothing. Aloe vera. Yeah, aloe vera, but I don't think that counts as a herb. Aloe vera is technically a medicinal plant, so it counts. Oh. Nice. Very good. Anyway, so why was the stream here? What's going on? Chapter two. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we're back to Not doing it? Okay. It. So, uh, I, I decided to, uh, I saw someone was really wanted to reach 200 followers on Twitch. They were at 199, so I just decided to follow. That's what I was doing the entire time <laughs> you were talking. <laughs> uh -oh. We were supposed to be helping Bright do the the 
find the typos and errors and things. So when it is eventually read in the future, we will not be stopping every two seconds because this looks wrong. <laughs> yeah. So I decided to help other people while you guys were talking about this. <laughs> Bookworm says, who are they? Let's shout them out. I think everyone but me here has ADHD. Actually, is that a thing? That's what it is. Why did I feel the need to start randomly reading off of a cryptid wiki? My head I, hurts to do that. I feel like that confirms it. I'm the only one here that doesn't have ADHD. Are you sure? I mean, I was yeah. diagnosed wrong. Like I not like I do have it, but like they gave me the wrong dosage. <laughs> Yay! With that, I think I will end my headache of everyone not paying attention to the topic by getting food. I'll be back. <laughs> mm. All right, Patrick, go ahead. Okay. Also, sometime here soon, I'm gonna have to go to get my mother. Mother Desire's rubbish. Okay. <laughs> uh, brain. Aaron sat there, still trying to collect their thoughts on how, <sighs> on how they were on the stage where the monstrosities took place. God, that say, that statement feels off. I don't know. I mean, it was how they are on the stage, but were said correctly to were. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, in the previous up here, it was their talk about how they saw the horrific things appear. Well, yeah, like, I, I'm just saying, like, the way that the sentence is laid out. And sent there. Maybe uh, change it to um, Aaron sat there on the stage where the mon monst monst monsters took the place, attempting to collect her thoughts. Would Aaron break the drink? There on the oh, whoops, I got rid of on for a second there on the stage. Yeah, Aaron sat. May maybe, um. Maybe add somehow in there. Like Aaron sat there on the stage somehow, or some, or Aaron somehow sat there on the stage where the monstrosities took place. And then you can say, uh, took place, comma, attempting to wrap their head around what's happening. Why is, I was about to say, why is... Yeah, <laughs> like, why is there being violated? Like, I was gonna say, that's, that's, it's correctly spelled, you didn't use the wrong there, what the fuck? <laughs> as well as feeling immense fear of the being that caused these monstrosities. I changed monstrosities to horrors to avoid repetition. Wait, they want to change is to what was happening. Right, yeah, because past tense. I want to change horrors, too. Oh. Change horrors, yeah, so of course. Comma. It would be very fun. Horse caused the... Caused, caused these the horrors. <laughs> these the horrors. Oh, Jesus Christ. I just remembered... Because how what Dragon said, we can't speak of what, uh, what uh, Word wanted to change VHS to. <laughs> what did, what did they want to change VHS to? Nothing, nothing minor should hear. I forget what they were trying to do that. 
Anyway. Vor? Oh, right. Oh, Jesus, Dragon saw the chat. No, I didn't see the chat. I was guessing. Well, I got it forget right, it. Though. Yeah, just forget it. I'm there was another thing, but I forgot what it was. Vasectomy? No. Why did you just immediately <laughs> say exactly what my brain thought of? <laughs> Look, there's one good thing. Look, this. we're done. We're done. <laughs> was it not vasectomy? No, what? Stop saying that. Wait, what's wrong with vasectomy? It's nothing Wait. wrong. We just want you to shut the fuck up. Do you? It Wait, is a procedure that. that is of eighteen plus oh, nature. That's yes, why. dumbass. Control. Right, you have no right to talk. You didn't seem to know that either. <laughs> I did, I just didn't really care. Right. Of you know, it's where you cut the care. balls. I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's continue forward. As well as feeling immense pure the being. <sighs> mm. Why does Mick Lafferson sound um. like a McDonald's meal? What? Um. Uh. Uh. Maybe change these the to those. To those. Yeah. I get rid of the. Yeah. What you think it sounds right to say caused those the horrors? <laughs> I've actually seen that in a book where it says those the horrors. God, that book, dear, oh dear. Did did it have like, like it did it have like a comma or an ellipsis after? No. And someone needs that... to get a better editor. I, yeah. I think it was like penguin something. I know it's like a company that has four penguin in it that edited it or whatever. Or publisher or whatever. Oh, I think that's normally a good publisher too. I've read a couple books from them. Yeah. Whatever. I don't know their full name though. Hmm. Uh, I'm trying to think. Maybe Penguin say... Random House. Anyways. Uh, it say as well as, um, maybe change as well as uh, to. Even more so, comma. Uh, she was feeling. Oh, not capitalized. Why did I capitalize? <laughs> was. Oh, she feeling. <laughs> Even more so, she feeling immense fear. Damn. <laughs> was feeling so fearful that she started feeling it in fucking first person, not first person, uh, present tense. Okay, let me, let me type this up, because I, I think I've got a better way to do this, but it's hurting my brain trying to word it out. Um, okay, uh, any more solutions? For her. Oh yeah, it is Penguin Random House. I I saw the Penguin Random House logo. Yeah, it was that one. Yeah. What? Wow, that's a really weird name. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to look at the points of the sh of the streamer that I gave the follow to. One of the redeems for three thousand is just literally called "It's Time to Drown." What? 
please add that to your stream, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, add it for like a good amount of a good amount of points, right? But like, have it like set as you'll drink like half a water bottle, and that's that's it. Like, oh, I can do that. I can. That's actually a good idea. Yeah. Please do it. Hold on. Please, I can. You dr need to hydrate. No, hold on, Dragon. I can actually drink a whole half liter bottle <laughs> before having to breathe. What? We're not gonna talk about what that skill could be used for. Moving on. <laughs> Hatchet. Oh <my> God. <laughs> what? I'm thinking chugging contests. Uh huh. God. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's what you're trying to say. You could win so much money. <laughs> so much money with that skill. <laughs> Shit. Anyway. I'm still typing. Okay. Oh, you're going to type something that should be added? Yeah. Okay. Um, silence book. Uh, where is hey, I'm look not looking at, at chat as I am not in chat. So. You're not looking at chat right now? Nope. Good. God damn it, the mothership! <laughs> You're such a child. <laughs> I, I can't tell who you're commenting that at. Like, at me, the actual following or at Bright, the, the woman child? A woman child. Okay. How does it feel to be a woman child? Alright. Try that. Say, uh, use like use that and replace, uh, the entire back half of that sentence. Uh, after fear. After fear. Okay. After fear. Let me see. Yeah, so like, gotta go in here. Yeah. Fear of. I think that'll make the sentence flow better and feel less disjointed. I shouldn't say after fear, like upon fear, because I added fear to it. Oh, I just didn't copy fear. <laughs> oh, okay, that works. Before her. Yeah, I think, I think I know what would be better instead of me having to do so much editing on chapter one last night, that we just redo chapter one again. That's probably a good idea, yeah. Yeah. It's, there would be so much editing now, I'll probably just spend an entire day editing. Yeah, like, even more so than just, like, having to deal with bloopers. Yeah. I mean, we're probably still going to have some more bloopers. It's just not as many. Well, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to tape the only... Okay, the only thought going through her mind is that she is, uh, is, needs to be, was, was that she, right? Hmm? Oh, sorry. I was <laughs> looking at my phone for a minute, because I got a notification, sorry. sorry. Those two is's need to be was's. Where? Oh. In, in the very next sentence. Uh. <laughs> Expert streamer. This isn't even streaming. This is just like I describe. Okay, let's take a second. I describe change the is's to was's. Okay, as bizarre as that statement sounds. Okay, change those to those. And rather than think, oh, we're moving on to the next sentence, you think. What? Where were we? <laughs> this paragraph has two total sentences. Or three now. Uh, so, I... Mm. Ah! Are the Swedish real? I mean, the click exists. Good point, and, yeah. And blow highs exist. Who? Blow high. Or blaha. Ah, okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I'm uh, so blow, blow high is, I believe, the correct pronunciation from Sweden. 
so just to speak on that there's actually a vtuber who constantly collects them and they have i think 20 as of yeah, this moment they, they're british and they have like a crown yeah yeah you know who i'm talking about <laughs> yeah and they they literally had to censor the term i think gara because every time they talked about their wait no 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 that's the, the wrong world. one the... Well, not banned, but like, hey, don't say, don't mention other VTubers. No, I'm... Do they wear purple? Yes. Oh, then the... and then I know two VTubers who, who block her up. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, are they... Because the YouTuber I'm thinking of has a brown, is British, and like, has like, kind of... Fancy? royal type uh ren yeah I think so. yeah okay anyway sorry hatchet <laughs> okay so bright do you want to be reading your voice lines but or just forget about it since yeah we're not actually reading just we yeah. i can i can read if you want me to if you feel tired of reading nah that's good okay so i hear that you don't care about my show <laughs> oh yeah this is laughy so I hear you don't care for my show. They yeah, gonna, oh, uh, I would say, um, I hear that you don't seem to care for my show. I hear that you're homophobic. What? What I hear isn't. that you don't like gay folk. <laughs> yeah, also, I see something that already makes me cringe at at like the the fourth paragraph at the bottom. Oh, the, 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 the period things? Yes, it, I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. This isn't a tweet. I know, it makes me cringe. Laffy, but they live in the century with me, with, <laughs> in the country with many guns. <laughs> Hell yeah, the American, fuck yeah. America, yeah, my name is Laffy McLafferson. I laugh all the time, except when I see them damn Nick. Oh, gosh. Huh? I think the reason for that last sentence, fourth paragraph, I was trying to make him sound like one, saying one word at a time while being mad. But it just looks so fucking bad. <laughs> Bonk hatchet, yeah. One of my favorite, uh... Uh, one of my favorite gags is, uh, like, when a, when something cuts off right at, like, the start of a word that starts with N. Oh, so, it immediately transitions to something bad. But also, I'm getting to this character, yeehaw! Wow, Jerry's been gone for a while. I think Jerry might have been eaten by a mall. Perhaps she, perhaps they, 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 they damn scared of my, my homophobia. <laughs> you just sound like what I imagine a lot of people think uh, Captain Cuttlefish sounds like. <laughs> That's exactly how I think Captain Cuttlefish sounds like. I need to, no, you wouldn't know what would be so fucking funny if Captain Cuttlefish, he had like an American, like specifically country accent, despite being Japanese. <laughs> like his grandchildren, like, they're obviously Japanese, right? Uh, you know, so are his kids. <laughs> it's it's that same sort of... It's that same sort of disconnect as, like, when you play uh, Resident Evil uh, 7 in, mm -hmm. the, in, in Japanese. And it's like, you're in the middle of Louisiana in, in, in the bayou, and you've just got, like... This random hillbilly white family, like, speaking accented Japanese. Honestly, there needs to be more Louisianians that go to Japan, learn Japanese, and just speak with, like, their natural accent but Japanese, and I, I, I think... Konnichiwa! <laughs> Don't say! <laughs> oh. There's one thing I want to say, speaking of American, it made me remember a thing at work. All right. Oh, homo my stuff. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I was saying. Yeah, in the, ahead, go ahead. this cafeteria thing when you go to buy food or whatever, mm -hmm. let's say you want to use cash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't get change. 
it just stays in the machine and you can use it at a later date. That is kind of evil. <laughs> Which makes me a question, oh. like, what if you get fired or quit? Do you get the money back or no? Oh, they keep it, obviously. Yeah. Well, it's like, that is some proper r slash asshole designs stuff. Yeah. And Brooklyn's just, wow. My Our... mom bought a new a new type of Mountain Dew that's really tasty. Uh... Is it red? No, it's uh blue. No, it's called a Maui burst. It's a Green? It's, it's a front. Do you want to <laughs> let me talk? Sorry. Purple. Orange. I have never <laughs> felt so tempted to dump a drink onto my laptop than I do right now. <laughs> We'll Whatever. just we'll see if Bookworm do... just a color. <laughs> if you were here right now, I would force... Well, I can't actually force Bright down. I... Bright would kick my ass. I force <laughs> the child down and dump Mountain Dew in your eyes. <laughs> Why, you're saying it because of my security guard experience? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm like... Okay, actually, I'm probably not larger than you. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm four hundred pounds and six three. You're literally oh. like twice my weight, Christ. <laughs> so in other words, so double. in other words, if I want to hold you down and waterboard you with fucking Mountain Dew, <laughs> I can. Right? <laughs> me threatening the child and Bright because they kept interrupting me when I was trying to describe a new Mountain Dew I tried. <laughs> And Hatchet was talking about waterboarding both of us, but but then said they wouldn't do that that's to me because of my security guard experience. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can't take ass. Bright. I, I doubt I could take... The only way I think I could take Bright is if I managed to wrestle Bright to the ground and just sat. <laughs> that might work, but otherwise I'm probably fucked. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway... Oh yeah, I also turned Laffy into some kind of homophobic racist southerner. What? <laughs> in in the way that I'm I'm reading his lines. So I hear you don't seem to care for my show. I I feel like you sound like a talk show host. Yeah, yeah yes, he would. But I don't but think see, I don't care. I got uh, killed by calcium. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Do you mind telling me why the best show in all reality is not humorous in it? <laughs> <laughs> That's just, it's just the cutoff right there. <laughs> Laffy's having issues. <laughs> yeah. This is what Laffy sounds like off recording. <laughs> uh, let's see. So I hear you don't seem to care for my show. Do you mind telling why am I why am I so instinctually going to a southern accent for Laffy? <laughs> Do you mind telling me why the best show in all the What have I begun? Best show in all realities is not humorous and entertaining. You keep going southern. Fuck S shut up. Uh Let's see, that S needs to be lowercase. On said. Weird that word didn't say anything about it. Oh yeah, because it's... Like... Uh, if... Like, basically, rule of thumb. Anytime you say said after a quote, it still counts as the same sentence. Even if that sentence has... A normally end of period. Okay, this one thing I want to say that. Sentence. I think that Don't why I distinguishly put it in capitalize is because I would get points off in school if I ca if I didn't capitalize it. The fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it's the same basic. Like, like imagine the same statement except not as a question and with a comma there instead of a question mark. It's still part of the same sentence. Right. <laughs> it's just a question mark. Why? What the fuck? 
<laughs> wow, your school is dumb. No shit. You know what? I'm gonna check the Google for views for my school. Wow, you're looking. <laughs> What? Wait, let me. Oh, wait, I want to read a review that I put. Uh, no. Right. If you ever feel bad about your grammar, right? Uh, someone. Anyways, I act. Of... Well, actually, it's a good thing I'm looking this up because I actually my ass is telling me to go to the bathroom now. Oh. Shit. Oh, you know what? This might be a good time for me to head off to go give my mom a rub. Anyway. All right. So I'll be right back. So, I'll be back in about a half hour or so. Uh, Jerry, you have control of stream. What? Oh, I also just realized I have to go to sleep uh, soon, damn. <laughs> We're all no, leaving okay. Jerry alone. No, I, I can be here for like five more minutes. Okay. But... Anyway, I, I shall be back. Alright, I'm literally eating dinner. How fun. Is it yummy? Yeah. That's good. I'm glad. But if you ever feel not very good about your grammar... Right. Uh, someone put as a review, a review for my school eight years ago. Uh, they put and I quote, "Went there as in there for the person." Two as in T O, easy. Um. <laughs> and they gave it. They gave the school a five star. Mm -mm. Do, do, you, do you want to tell the people what's wrong with that sentence grammatically? I'd rather pretend you never said it and just keep eating. Okay, I, I'll, I'll say what's wrong with the sentence to prove that not everyone that goes to that school is an absolute dumb ass. Uh -huh. um, went, the W should be capitalized. The there that, that, that describes that's the pronoun to describe the person should be changed to there as in T H E R E. Two should have another O. T H E Y apostrophe R E. They are? That's the wrong there. That's they are. Went they are too easy. Hmm? You, you put the wrong there. Maybe you should. You said T H E Y apostrophe R E. That's the wrong there. I feel like I thought the sentence was longer than you're saying now. No, the sentence is four words. It's just went there too easy. Oh. I'm just going to pretend you didn't say that. I think I get why I didn't remember. That's technically an incomplete sentence. Yeah, technically it should be, went there, it was too easy. Well, it should be, I went there, it was too easy. Yeah. I went there, comma, it was too easy. Let's see if what other reviews there are. What? Why are you looking for more? You know what? Since in case they're just as stupid, why don't you put it in the live stream chat, uh, like VC thing, uh, like copy paste the text? Because I feel like my brain will block it out again. Um, let's see. It has a 2.2 .2 rating on Google. Uh, let's see the newest reviews. Okay. The newest review is mine. Uh, one from four years ago is Waste of Public Money, but it's five star. It has a like. What? Look. By, by, by local guide, uh, waste of public money, five star. 
I don't think someone's grandma understands how stars work. Uh, another one says, uh, why is a school, uh, why is a teacher who teaches students to kill animals still employed at your school? Uh, a lot of them are just about the animal killing. Remove the school mascot, uh, that's an animal from, uh, yeah, remove the animal from your mascot since you like to drown wild animals. Yeah, it's a lot about the, the accident, it's not accident, uh, the, the, the thing uh, that happened at my school four years ago. That's where all the reviews are coming from, four years ago. Um, apparently the teacher got paid leave? Wait, what? Paid leave? That's fucking wild. Wait. No one has said, no one that has shred, a shred of compassion for living beings, okay, it was a disgraceful place, it was a very clear place to go. Uh, actually, you want to know something worse about my school? That none of these, none of these reviews have mentioned? Uh, uh last year... One of the teachers got drugged out of school. Uh, I, it was either last year or the year before. I got dragged out of the school. Okay, you know, it was two years ago. I remember, right? Uh, two years ago, one of the teachers got dragged out of sc the school during in the, in the middle of class uh, because they found out that he was a, um, a danger to children. Oh! The worst oh. part? What? Uh, that he doing inappropriate things to high school girls. The worst part is one of my friends at the time uh, I had a science class with last year uh, was his favorite and he had her sit in the front of the class next to his desk. Uh. Uh, also, last year well, my English teacher got fired because uh, she kept complaining about her boyfriend. We got nothing done in the class. Um, she, she made inappropriate remarks about a freshman. Took the rice purity test in a in one of her classes. Wait, what the hell is a rice purity test? Oh, you, 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 you soul, you pure innocent soul. It's the rice purity test is to see how pure you are. And a lot of the questions are like it starts out pretty tame of like have you ever kissed someone have you ever and it gets more of, oh I know that yeah. test I I just assumed it wasn't the test I was thinking of because that's not appropriate for school remotely oh 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 she also talked about her uh, private life. And not like the safe for work kind. Oh. She was also the she also run the anime club. So I didn't think teachers could run the club just like Oh my gosh. Okay, so for like the last few years there has been a teacher that has been an issue. I don't think there's, this year has been a teacher that has been an issue so far, if I remember correctly. But I also haven't looked it up. I, I probably should. Like, there's asshole teachers, but they aren't, like, actual criminals. My math teacher does keep going on about the whole Trump getting indicted thing and saying how it's unfair and that they should go after Clinton and, like, Biden, despite the fact that if they're going after Trump, they can now, like, they're they're showing that they can, uh, you know, it's, yeah, like. Trump has done more things than either of the other two, so. Yeah, he his, his my te my math teacher's excuse is literally, oh, 
Well, it's probably because the judge is biased. No, no. You All right, I'm back. You did because welcome back. Catch back. Hello. No. <laughs> so, uh, while I was on the toilet, I saw that people that some people were getting mad at SCP Illustrator. I was like, oh no, don't tell me you did something wrong. They were getting mad at him. Or at them. Because they decided to make a video, well actually two videos, that were not SCP related. One was Doctor Who, and the other was The Last of Us. That's stupid! So dumb. Yeah, it is. And I support them for going that way because if you don't know, YouTube is fucking over SCP creators. Yeah, I've heard that. Because like channels like Doctor, uh, the Rubber, like those type of content, are being pushed out more because they're faster and make more money for YouTube. While the Volga and SPL sure are getting fucked over. Yeah, the rubber is full of misinformation because it's a, one of those farm video places. Yeah. Yeah, and I also found out that the Vol the Volgan is Irish. Also, Bryce, you remember that not safe for work right charity test? The what now? The not safe for work rice purity test on how pure you are. Oh, maybe. One of one of one of Penguin's teachers did that at one point. Oh. Oh, it wasn't re recently. It was last year. That doesn't make it better. Yeah. You're like, oh, it was last year. Actually, the thing is, that's the only English class I have actually failed because we didn't have a proper teacher for the entire year. Uh, and my, and I, so, uh, last week, I had to talk to my guidance counselor, and he was like, okay, we can, we can, as long as you take an online course for taking, retaking geometry, because for the last two years, I have been trying to retake it to get the point to graduate, and I have kept failing because the thing that they're making me do uh, fucking sucks ass. It, I hate it very much. Um... But now I'm taking an actual proper online course next year, and I will have free periods, which is why it's very important that I learn how to drive this summer, because I don't want my grandpa to keep going, I don't want to drive on I su such and such just to pick you up, because my high school is on a fucking interstate, which sucks. It's good for, for people, you know, it's a, good, it's a good way to include a lot of people, but it sucks because it's on a fucking interstate. So, yeah. Yeah. But I need to learn how to drive because I want Oh yeah, free going period. back to the SCP Illustrated thing. In a tweet, apparently he, they took a picture of someone commenting saying that they single-handedly destroyed the SCP community. What's funny oh. is the people on that tweet, most of the people, he, they were saying, <laughs> well, apparently it looks like I uh, destroyed the SCP community. <laughs> and a bunch of SP authors and site staff are saying, yes, we're finally free. <laughs> and the tweet. It's a huge joke into a fuck you to the person, which is just amazing. <laughs> I also found out you can commission SP Illustrated for art. I have no idea how much it is, but it's probably expensive. Because <laughs> they do a really good job. I'm not sure if Dragon's seen their artwork. Also, hi, Aderna. We're on a mission right now because uh, Hatchet's away. I know this sounds very dumb, but does anyone know any good summer jobs? I want I want Hatsune Miku figures. Um, okay, so 
I would look for jobs in your area potentially. Yeah. Good summer job. Because yeah. I have a Dollar Tree down the road, which would be very easy to get to, but I don't know if they're hiring. And also, I, I, I don't know if I will be physically able to stand up for like five hours. I would on say hours. be wary of working at Dollar Tree. Yeah. I would be wary of working anywhere. I would check their, like, I would, so I would go in mm -hmm. and ask about, like, so you can, so there's some places you can look to find, like, information. There's, like, LinkedIn. Or you can like look at local uh, businesses and see how much they want to like pay people money yeah, for to work I, there and stuff. This is before the and dollar. Then, and then like you can also just go into the places, ask them yourself how much they pay to work and and stuff. Actually, I wonder if I could. Okay, so the story, the comic story that uh I, I i want to get the miku figures from and also some other anime figures from i i, I think mm -hmm. they are they are hiring and also it's like right up my alley because it's like all nerdy stuff except for the sorting thing they they have an entire comic section oh god oh dear god <laughs> it's beautiful and horrifying at the same time uh, so there's so much. It's all alphabetized, but I don't know how. Oh, it's it's simple. You go learn how to do it. They'll teach you. Um, like yeah, it's literally like something where they will teach you how to do it. So you're fine. That's good. Um, the least worrying part for you. My own. And like also. Sorry. Well, actually, it does depend on like what kind of like system they're using. If they're using the uh, Dewey Decimal, what service. kind? Of, if they're using Dewey Decimal, real, I can like help you with that. Is I worked in a, a library like for like two for like two years, so not back to back, but like. I worked in like the school library for two years, so I kind of, I kind of have a thing. I kind of have a knowledge of where stuff is in, within the Dewey Decimal System. So, but like, there's also the more compute, more confusing if you're coming from like the Dewey Decimal System. Uh, so like system that's used in colleges which is the <clears throat> um which is the like library of congress kind of system mm. so yeah and that one's like a lot like it, it there's there's a lot of a lot more stuff to categorize so i think like the reason why they have that is because of like how much stuff they want to categorize within it. So. My only like major fear, right, is uh, a lot of men. A lot of men. I've only been there twice. A good majority of the people that I've, I saw there, going the once on my birthday and once recently, a lot, lot of men. <laughs> I heard Jerry laugh in the background. <laughs> that was Spoon. That was Spoon. Yeah, it's, it's understandable that there's a lot of men. Like, a lot of men. Into hey, Spoon, kind of can you hear me? Spoon's in the bathroom. Oh. You can Spoon. hear their laughter, but you cannot hear, but they cannot hear you, I think. Spoon, can you hear Bray? I'll ask Spoon my question when they can't hear. Spoon said you're very t silent if you're talking. Oh, well, damn. Did you hear that? 
she heard she heard the oh damn part. Oh. Okay, Spood. Quickly, answer. How gay is Jerry? Why did you ask Spood that? <laughs> What Spood said. <laughs> Spood. Ooh. Spood, just get closer to the mic and repeat what they said or what you said. Spood is not out of the bathroom yet. When you get out of the bathroom, get close to the mic and repeat what you said. <laughs> was it something 18 plus? No, they said I was gay as gay as the tallest mountain on the <laughs> planet. <laughs> Are you gay? Not so, so is okay. Yep, yep. No, that's that's accurate. Hey! <laughs> Bookworm says we need this information desperately. Lol. <laughs> I just noticed that. Pros of working at a comic star. No. Pros. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm gonna waterboard you one day. Not actually. That would be very bad, and that is very illegal. Please don't ban Bright Twitch. Uh, I would throw you at the window before you could do it. You haven't been a night guard for, like, actual years. You don't think I don't train myself? I mean, you are a woman, so I should probably also train myself, despite not being a woman. <laughs> yeah, very you think I don't exercise? I don't know. Well, you're, you're right, I don't, because I... <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't mean I still don't train. <laughs> but uh, I, I actually started to get back and exercise because my back's healed, so I can do things. I can run. That is horrifying. <laughs> I can Naruto run to your location. I'd like to see you try. Genuinely. <laughs> Dragon just sees oh. a random person just running around all of Florida in a Naruto run. <laughs> Naruto run is not an appropriate run. <laughs> I know it wouldn't help you at all. Also, it, would go, to avoid oh, trains, it is best to stretch before running long distances. I'm gonna send the hatchet. Can I Naruto run to Florida? I hope they say no. <laughs> Are we going to do the whole, like, correcty thingy? Yeah, when Hatchet gets back. We're waiting on Hatchet. Yeah. We'll get back to it. We're just waiting on Hatchet. I should probably go to sleep. Go to bed. Yeah, guess what time it is. If you guess correctly, I shall give you a token. Uh, it is now. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> At 11.04, it changed to 11.05. That's funny. Well, I, you, the call. I don't think they noticed it yet. <laughs> I'm to make sure they're good. Because <laughs> they haven't returned. So I think they actually did go to bed. That might be a good thing. <laughs> I don't think Dragon was expecting that. Oh yeah, bright. Yeah. Well, 
we read the conversation since Hatchet's not here? Uh, I guess. Hold on. I would just like you to correct any parts if you do not think your character would say or do certain things. Uh, am, am I red or blue? You're red. Okay. The picture with blue in their name is blue. <laughs> you are a sick of bitch, you and tree. <laughs> okay, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I love that. Do you agree or disagree with your character? So far, I like it. <laughs> it's going to dance like an alley you can say whatever the hell I want I just realized I made a mistake let me fix that there we go and let me go <laughs> I can see you editing. <laughs> well, now you saw me fix the mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah? It actually looks like I would say something, especially the cussing parts. <laughs> nice! Yeah, you got me. Nice. I am happy to hear that. Oh, wait. Wait. That's oh, Dragon weird. went to bed. Oh, they did? Yeah, that, they went offline, so... Nice. Also, I figured in my story I'd have it so the Foundation did not approve Radler telling Bright who their dad was. As I figured from your story, they probably would not like, like them to know. I mean, my character doesn't know either. They'll eventually find no, out. No, then like, Rad Radler oh. asked for approval to tell Bright who right. their dad is. But yeah. his his dad is Jack Bright, and they did not approve that. Well, yeah, in, well, in Chapter 3, they're going to find out anyway. <laughs> Wait, Bright's going to find out that Rattler's yeah. family? Well, they won't, f they won't say family. They'll find out family, but they'll know who their, their, their fathers are. Because of the test logs. They won't know anything oh, yeah, about their family. Yeah. That's Aaron finding out who her dad is, not that she's related to yeah. Radler. Radler doesn't even have the bright last name, so it's a lot you can't it's harder to randomly guess. You'd probably need to find like information on that. Or have someone tell you. Yeah.
So when so Wright doesn't start off knowing who which uh Wright they're related to, do they? No. Uh, oh. I'm, not, I'm trying to avoid saying anything else because I know Adorna doesn't know the test logs. <laughs> That's fair. I'm not sure if they want spoilers or not. I'm not going with spoilers. Oh, you are? Mm -hmm. Alright. Yes. Because this, the test log was actually, uh, already edited down by Hatchet when they weren't oh. tired. So it's perfectly fine. Alright. Test Oh wait, this book hold on before I do anything. Does Bookworm care about spoilers? We That's should probably a good That's a... we should probably <laughs> say that. Not really. Okay. That's good. Alright. Test Scarlet. Name Doctor Clef. That's the person doing it. They they have it like this is exactly how the nine one four test logs are at. I copied it for the format perfectly. So that's why it says name instead of tester. It's that's what they do. Date April twelfth two thousand. Total items Jack Bright SCP six fifty SCP seven oh one. Input, Blood of Jack Bright, Starling Statue, Hang King's Cloth, and Play. Setting, Very Fine. Output, A female humanoid was produced. She came out of 914 asking if she is at the Foundation. He told her that they were in fact in the Foundation. The entity then asked what their name is and what is their job at the Foundation. He decided to name them Aaron Scarlet Bright and told them that they are a researcher. Note, the final test was successful. Aaron is extremely helpful to those around her. An x-ray was done to see if there's anything anomalous inside her. The bones in her arms and legs seem to be SCP-650 arms and leg structures. Well, well, oh wait, there's a mess up here. But while connected to the lumbar part of the spine, there are Tentacles completely made out of the transcripts of the Hang King's play written in Sarctic writing. There is also Sarctic writing on the up on her upper back saying Elders God of. Testing will be done to see how effective they are and see if the writing will be completed after testing. So yeah, there's a that's how I was created. How do you feel, Adurna? How do you feel? What was that, Adurna? You're like really low. Hold on. I'm putting max volume. There we go. Why does Discord do that to me where they either make you loud or super fucking quiet? Well, I'm also wearing a mask, so. Ah. Right, so, what was it you said? About the truth. I hear it's hmm? Sorry. That's interesting. Ah. Yeah. So technically, I'm an artificial being. My mother is a machine. Also, here's a bit of information, uh, Adurna. Uh, the Hang King and the Scarlet King, uh, if I remember correctly, are siblings. <laughs> so guess who I'm also technically related to?
Also, Jerry, how does it feel to have a relative that's an immortal being? Well, technically, I think my character's dad is also immortal. And my character themselves is almost immortal. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So they'd probably be the, at least, a relative that would not come and go with their aid. Yeah. Hang around. It just means I get to live forever. Oh. That's how it works. Oh, that's dark. <laughs> I get to live out everyone I love. You won't, out, you won't outlive Radler. <laughs> I know, I just wanted to see that. I'm just waiting for Bookworm's reaction on the truth. Well, seeing this I'm a dragon, I'll probably go for like thousands of years. So. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh wait, I realized the channel's not here, so that means penis. Wait, what? Oh, oh no, Bookworm. The Foundation does a lot of messed up experiments. Oh wait, I gotta do one of the 682 logs. Oh Test no. Logs, where this one researcher decided, hmm, if, since 053 does so well with 682, let's throw a child, a random child in there. First child gets eaten. I said, alright, let's just throw another one. Maybe it'll work this time. The second child that gets eaten. Continuation of that test log. The researcher gets thrown in there and they get eaten. <laughs> So yes, the foundation does many strange ass test laws. So many tests. Not enough time. I still find it funny that I believe, yeah, I find it funny where, I think it was a hamster, wasn't it? Where the hamster gets, no, it was a bunny, where 682 got scared of a little teeny bunny because the bunny would eat everything and is constantly hungry, hungry. So 682 is afraid of a bunny.
<laughs> no more for them. That's supposed to be a cloth, not clothe. <laughs> a hide shoe. We're in a mission now because we're waiting for a hatchet to return. <laughs> well, I mean, there was a foreign shoe shows up. Spot still unhinged. <laughs> oh, Adurna, you didn't hear this, but uh. I'm not sure if Jerry heard it either, but I know me me and Hatchet both agreed uh about uh rereading chapter one. No that way I don't have to go back and do so much editing. That's fair, but man. Doesn't mean I won't go back there and collect some boopers. Wait, boopers. <laughs> I meant bloopers. Why did I say boopers? Will Just... you try to read it all in one night again? Kind of. What I was thinking is we get finished with chapter 2 and chapter 3 ed being edited down. And then we just do all three. Oh. Not in one night, right? Just Maybe. I don't know. Probably not. Maybe it'll be faster when there's no mistakes. Yeah. That's what was pulling us up. It's, it's the mistakes. Also, at one point, it was taking longer because we were so tired we could barely talk. That's because we kept doing changing it and fixing it and everything. Yeah. Also, I'm still happy. I am happy to know that Bright, your character Aaron Bright, really would basically like go. No, I'm eating pizza this way through you. <laughs> yeah, and I would totally say that. Although I feel like that means if someone reads my story before they read yours, that makes yours more depressing, considering Aaron literally forgets everything about Rambler. Yeah. Like, oh, more context. Oh, more context. Oh, thank you uh, for following me, 6284. We are in a mission right now. Uh, I am the owner of this channel, and if you hear anyone else's voices, you're going insane. There's no one else here. Hey, there's others here. In your head. No. Wait, Spoot, are you near the mic? Not quite close, close. Yeah, the mic's a bit too intense. You don't want to get too close. Even I'm not close to it. All right, Spood. Yes. Is Jiri a Huspendo's magnet? <laughs> he's got so many guys. 
guys. <laughs> I've lost count. <laughs> I've literally lost count. <laughs> Food? What? I love you! <laughs> you have like, what, over half a dozen guys approached over the past two weeks? I don't know. I'm sure they were just desperate. Desperate for a little noodle? Uh, that joke! Just make a spell of rest rip? This is bringing all the guys to the yard. Not for long, Bookworm. Not for long. I will soon catch up to Chew. Yes, Chew. Chew. Wait. Chew lost two followers? No. Oh, apparently. <laughs> they heard she shit talking saying you're better than me and left. Because <laughs> I haven't been able to go live in several weeks. That's probably true. Yeah, that's true. I'm too exhausted or busy. That's fair. It's just why I've decided I'm never streaming on a night shift again. It's just way... It's way too much. Because <laughs> I get up, stream, get ready for it, go to work, go home, sleep for a little bit, then <laughs> stream again. It's just way too much. I love your booty. Well, that's all, uh, that's one thing that's good. It's fair because I only have like seven night shifts a month, so that's only like a week a month I don't stream. And that's not that bad. Like the worst of the month I'll stream. <laughs> Uh, okay, see it, you. Your brief entrance brought more people in. So bring more people in when you come back. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Wait a minute, I, I decided to look up. What do you mean you're not welcome in the state of Tennessee? <laughs> Me, 6284.
Nope. Oh, is left. Welcome back. Oh yeah, that's fair, but... Yeah, it's true, but... And now we just go dead fucking quiet. Yeah. Start. <laughs> Toaster. Start. Oh yeah, I didn't get other gifts for uh my birthday. Uh oh. it was it's a two food uh fo a gift card to Little Caesars, a gift card to McDonald's, fifty dollar Visa gift card, and twenty dollars cash. Very nice. As well as the stuff you sent me. I did not buy the chocolate dick yet. Because I kind of want that to be sent when I have a bunch of days off that way. <laughs> no one ever sees like just a box of this labeled chocolate dick inside. <laughs> oh, oh, you got the chocolate. Oh, no, chocolate. I didn't buy it yet. Oh, well, um, I will buy it eventually. Well, whenever you buy it, the the throne is waiting for you to get your uh something something. Your your chocolate uh stick will say. <laughs> what, a penis? I'm trying to be G rated. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
My channel's not G-rated, Jerry. Fair enough. What the hell is a stream deck? I don't have a product. Stop asking me to add a product. I don't have one. I wish I, I did. But I'm not popular enough to have merch. Now we go back to being dead fucking quiet. <laughs> oh, thing you control your stream with buttons like sound effects and stuff. Damn, squish. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, well, a stream deck is four. It's basically that the thing that controls your stream with buttons. But yeah, Cheery, my stream will never be G-rated. Penises all around. Of course. <laughs> also, uh, Buffum, when you got that hat for me, I also got, uh, <laughs> nice book. When you got the hat, I was thinking it wouldn't fit my head. So I remember I have a really big head. But it fits, so it's all good. But <laughs> Bookmo said, well, that's untrue. It goes to PG or P age 13 when Dragon is here. Or PG 13. Damn, I hope your stream doesn't hit PH 13. Oh yeah, Jerry, did you know on Throne I can send it you back a thank you message? What? Yeah, on Throne when when 
I get a, a, a gift or whatever, I can send a thank you message. Oh. So for you, Jerry, I've been sending thanks, Father. Oh. <laughs> Well, I may not be technically your dad, but I'm still probably a better parent than your actual dad. <laughs> huh, apparently, um, Throne says, oh yeah, by the way, we'll put 0% fees if you add Hogwarts Legacy to your Throne page. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bookman says, at least it's not thank you, daddy. <laughs> I'm saying Hogwarts legacy is worse than anything. Hatch has been gone for a long while. Yeah, he has. Definitely not much longer. No. Just whole, wholeheartedly no. Throne. What throne do? Throne says, oh yeah, for another thing, for 0% fees, Dead by Daylight, Sadako Rising. I don't think there's anything wrong with Dead by Daylight. No, it's Sadako is from the movie the is Sadako from the Grudge or the Ring. I believe Sadako is from the Ring. Okay, then never mind. I thought it was the Grudge for a moment and I already have trauma dealing with that movie. <laughs> That's why I was saying no. Oh, okay. But never mind, ignore my it's dumbass. <laughs> they look the the way how they do the characters in both movies, they look very similar. That's because they're both Japanese ghosts. Yeah. Uh, Only in, in Japan the ring, there's literally an origin story. Uh, so you get to see her alive before you see her dead. Hi, Hatchet. Mo. You're back now? Okay, good. Wait, y'all didn't continue? <laughs> no, we were waiting for you! <laughs> I thought you would continue without me. It's not like I'm crucial. <laughs> Fuck you, we're not doing without you. And now I the screen's like flashing again. This is similar to when oh, God. their character... What? It was doing a screen flashing thing. Oh. Also, hey. Oh, oh wait. No. Uh, Jerry, about the Dead by Daylight thing? What yeah. said, it says, uh, heard that the game is taking the hard, is taking hard right now. Almost like it is a bad game, in addition to the racism, anti-Semitism, and transphobia. Oh, no, they were speaking about J.K. Rowling. Oh, never mind. Not the Dead by Daylight. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Dead by Daylight is not anti Semit. It, Dead by Daylight is not anti Semit. <laughs> Semitic. Yeah. It is not racist. It is not transphobic. Yeah, funny thing about Dead by Daylight, I was gifted that to my. For my boss, for a previous work job I had. Uh. <laughs> also, I heard that uh, for the series they did on Dead by Daylight, the creator of it helped with it to basically do it better than they did on the original first one. Uh. And everyone was very happy.
Oh, Jesus. Anyway, Hatchet, are we ready to go back to where we were? Yeah, I'm looking at Festus's uh, wound real quick. Ah. Right. How you wanted to wait for Hatchet and how you were basically like, screw you, we're doing things my way. Reminds me much of like, do you, shouldn't you use a fork for that pizza? <laughs> Um, yeah, it looks like the wound's staying open now so it can drain. It's good. Ah. Uh. It's part of the problem is it just kept closing up right after we drained it, which Ooh. just allowed it to build up again. So it'd be very nice if it could close and not puss up, but it doesn't yeah. feel like it's going to do that anytime soon. You just need it to stay a little bit open so it keeps draining while he heals. Uh, oh, my. oh my gosh, I I'm just... Guessing that's why sometimes hospitals have the tubes in uh, certain uh, areas. Yeah. So really... things drain out. Like, when I was in the hospital, they had a tube in my leg. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. There's one thing I realized from a VTuber model is that if I look back up far away it grows smaller when it got real close it gets bigger oh yeah bright are you gonna get a new vtuber model yeah i already paid for it oh nice but i, play, I paid for it <laughs> that's what i said it said for it i just combined for and it together <laughs> uh how uh, i was gonna ask how long were you playing to stream 12.30. Or 1. Yeah, actually 1 is better. I was about to say, 12.30, isn't that like literally in 40 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 1 o'clock. So we got about an... Yeah, so we got about an hour of editing here before the end of stream, and before that, we basically did a half hour of editing, and otherwise the stream has been nothing but random bullshit. It's well, okay. and there's been a section where I asked Bright to look at the part of my story that I edited today to uh, gotcha. the actual conversation between Rebler and Bright, Bright's character Aaron, instead of like just summarizing it and skipping through. Summarizing it. And Every time, like. This this is probably just my dumb AOT addled brain, but I swear to God, every time we say Aaron, I think of a different Aaron. That's fine. I think just of remember, Titan we're Aaron. not talking about Aaron Yeager, we're talking about a lady who literally tugs down a pepper. <laughs> That's really anticlimactic. Anyway, so where where were we uh, reading from? Got to the end of Laffy's voice line, so uh, said sinisterly. Well, uh, you're gonna want to change this so that it's yeah. So here, so I hear that you don't seem to care for my show. Do you mind telling me why the best show in all realities is not humorous and entertaining? Uh, you'll want to say, um, uh, the being said sinisterly while walking closer, or while stepping closer, maybe. Well, it's not kind of less. Yeah. Said sinisterly. Yeah, wow. so get rid of by the yeah, get rid of by the being. And maybe say while stepping closer. Like to make it a touch more sinister. Aaron. You probably don't need to say Aaron again either. Could probably just say them. Let's see, 
And I was also thinking you could probably combine this paragraph and the previous paragraph into one. Ah, got it. Since there's only dialogue from one character in that section. Let's see. Aaron starts to tremble in massive fear. Massive fear. As the being gets close to her. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't kill me. I will say whatever you want me to say if you don't kill me. It's probably, it's probably a chance to do. Because whatever you say, it's not going to really. Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll do whatever you want. Just please don't kill me. I don't know why I said say. <laughs> like... I'll say. <laughs> See, say whatever you want. Yeah, and maybe uh, instead of if you just say, uh, just please don't kill me. If, or I'll do whatever you want me to say. <laughs> do it, Come on, get rid of that. Yeah. <laughs> to do. If. I'll do whatever you want. If you. Do. And then maybe like, uh, comma, just please don't kill me or something like that. Like we're we're pleading. You're pleading for your life here. So do we keep the please don't kill me at the top or put right right yeah, behind keep, this? Yeah, I I think like some repetition is fine when it comes to panicked pleading. Please don't kill. Well, no, I'm not. Oh no, I'm not thinking like add an extra please don't kill me. I mean like make it so that I'll do whatever you want, comma just please don't kill me. Uh, I don't know how much I like these streams. <laughs> it's better. F it's better than just sending it to you and wait waiting though. Oh yeah, it is absolutely objectively better. It's. It... <laughs> why? Why are we getting harpy laughs? Oh, Hatchet, you missed it earlier. I asked Spood. Uh, if, whatever, if, uh, how many, uh, it, it, no, if, is, has, is, shut, cut down my mouth. I, I asked if, is Jiri a Huspando's magnet? <laughs> Food oh. answered. <laughs> I hope they don't answer again. Bookworm, Bookworm said, is Jiri gay? <laughs> well, no, not Bray, also asked, Bray also asked how gay is Jerry. Yeah. So Spood. Well, at least it sound, seems like Spood is being quiet for the, the time. Oh, and yeah. Spood it said Jerry is as gay as the peak of Mount Everest. Oh, she was barking. Uh, also, oh. Why did you send me that spood? <laughs> also, bookworm. As a side thing, uh, I I see you said, Aaron Yeager girl confirmed. Uh, fun fact. Uh, the character of Gabby Braun was quite literally based upon a gender bent, uh, art of Aaron, that oh. was uh done by Isayama as a doodle at one point, just aged oh. down. Just because like Jerry's having a time. Yeah. I'm going to put what Spood shared with me in dumb post, but I'm going to put a sensor thing on it so you don't see it unless you want to. It is not 18 plus, but it is certainly terrifying. Let's go look at dumb post, shall we? Meantime, I eat coffee jelly beans. That sounds good. Yeah, it's Duncan. It's called Dunkin' Ice Coffee Flavored Jelly Bean. It's like face off fucking donuts, got coffee. Okay, let's let's I'm gonna read this out. DM. You all see something scamper out of the burning house. Everyone roll a perception check. Party. Everyone but the paladin fails. DM. Okay. Craig, 
I just, er, Craig, I just messaged you an image. Everyone else sees a black Labrador sized dog. Druid, oh, is the fur baby hurt? I want to try and be their friend. Paladin puts phone down. No, you do not. <laughs> bark, bark. Bark, bark. <laughs> I I love that. That's Buss's new uh, brother. This is this is why I need to fucking try tabletop gaming. This this feels like such a vibe. Oh man. That sounds like something. You know, I did see a bunch of SCP tabletop games that I've been looking at. Mm. That could be fun for the channel. Maybe. I mean, I guess technically you're Lap is fun game is technically tabletop. Kind of not uh, RPG. <laughs> it's like it's it's based on tabletop RPG mechanics, just uh incredibly home brewed. Yeah. Kind of think of it. You have to deal with a lot of the same shit a DM would have to, like with us just insisting on random things happening. Yes. Yeah, yep, almost no no idea how many times I almost broke character in question what the fuck is wrong with you. <laughs> Very good. It, I mean we might as well like switch the roles for a change. Normally you're making us question why you're doing things. Now we get to make you question why you're doing things. Okay, so Aaron starts to tremble in massive fear. Uh, that... Get rid of massive. Yeah, I, I also think it makes better sense if well, we just take out starts. Okay. Yeah. So trembled. Uh, Aaron, tr Aaron trembled in fear. Yeah, Aaron trembled in fear. Yeah, because, like, saying starting trembled in fear, like, that kind of implies that it's lit like it's literally just, it's not implying, it says that it literally just started, and I'm sorry, but if you weren't trembling in fear before this point, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, well, like... Okay, Tremper, okay, you could, um, if you want to, like, Make it you seem can like say the trembling and she's freeze. trembling more. You can say, uh, trembled vigorously or something like that. <laughs> vigorously, bigger. <laughs> Aaron trembled, Aaron trembled vigorously in fear. Uh, that, mm, I don't think that hits the tone well. Aaron big, vigorously trembled. No, I mean like the word vigorously. Yeah. We could find a synonym for that. I'm trying to think. Or we could also uh hmm. Uh, well, like the reason I'm saying that is because still like awake? I'm I'm thinking that that kind of like the reason you would say that is because you want to show that she's starting to tremble more or something. You want to like, mm -hmm. draw the audience to her feeling more scared and stuff. So, man, but but I feel like I, I feel like that also is just kind of implied by the entire scenario in and of itself, and by the lines that come after. True. That. True. Alright, so Aaron trembled in fear as the being gets closer to her. Yeah, I think that I, I I think I like I think I like it the way it is right now. She says am invisible. No, you're not. No, you're not. We see you right there. Wait, All sorry. Right. No, you can't. Oh, you're talking with you, never mind. Okay. 
I chew. What? Did, who did you think we were talking to? Oh, I was oh, reading God, the Kate. GoFundMe thing. Oh. That I saw on Twitter okay. where it, something really messed up happened. I don't think I should oh. say it. She was not here. You heard nothing. Damn it! Now I'm curious what the awful thing. <sighs> Ralph, Ralph, y'all, y'all, sixteen went to a wrong address in KCK this week to pick up his siblings. Rang doorbell. A white man did not want him there. Shot him once. Once more when he was down. Both times oh, in yeah. his head. He is fighting for his life. No arrests have been made. Oh yeah, I did hear that. Damn, I thought that he... I didn't know that he was actually still survive, Like, still alive. Which is kind Wait, of a miracle. No arrests were made? No, no arrests were made. I'm guessing, like, maybe stay in your ground law, maybe? Where did this take place? Uh, hold on, I can see. It was like KCK. Like they, they probably... KCK, an address in KCK. Wherever the fuck that probably is. Probably still arrest them. They'd probably still arrest them under that to do an investigation, or at least. Oh, uh, since it's talking more about Missouri, it's Missouri. In the GoFundMe. The guy was brought, uh, Bookworm says, he is just barely, I think. The guy was brought in for questioning, apparently, but was later released. No charges filed. No charges filed. How old was the kid? Um, 16. 16. An adult man shot a 16-year-old in the head multiple times. And he is not being arrested. And charged. I think... Yeah, for ringing the wrong doorbell. Yeah, the child's also black, too. That might yeah. be why. Yeah, like, we've got some obvious systemic racism. Yeah. Let's just be frank. That's just, uh... <laughs> I said I'm surprised, but I'm not. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't think anyone here is surprised. Everyone here is tuned in enough to know how fucked systemic racism is. But that's, like, a particularly comically absurd situation. Apparently, the GoFundMe reached uh, $534,925 of a 750000 goal. Uh, my wife, we're probably going to have to go through the same cajole cajoling that it had to to get those fuckers that shot... Oh, what was his name? Why am I... I shouldn't be forgetting these names. The hashtag is um, literally remember his name. Uh, one, one, one sec. Um... Not George Floyd. Well, George Floyd wasn't shot. Um, Breonna Taylor. Uh, Breonna Taylor, yeah. It might have been Breonna Taylor or... Well, that's uh, that's a good... That's Ahmed Arbery, I think? Oh, yeah. The, uh, the, 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 the black fellow like, that was just taking a jog and then some white supremacists drove by and oh, shot Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, pretty no, sure yeah. they were... They, they did get... They were found guilty, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, they they were, but like it it was like like the local community had to massively push over and over and over again for these people to be charged. Like the the uh the prosecution officer, whatever the fuck it would be, just like avoided the case for a shit ton of time, if I remember correctly. Despite that it's like literally just a blatant case of Aggravated homicide. District attorney. Thanks, Bookworm. Uh. Anyway, let's get back to the story so we don't think about awful things. <laughs> yeah, definitely unrelated, but does anyone know how to create a volcano? <laughs> Have you tried baking soda and uh <laughs> vinegar? Yeah. Mix in some red dye. Uh, not hot enough. Not hot enough. True. Then uh, just go to the people who who collect molten lava. I mean, yeah, there are in literal industrial ways to transport and uh 
uh, create and store molten lava. So you could do that. It'd be expensive as fuck, though. I'm gonna look up now how much it is to get molten lava. <laughs> While you're re uh, you're looking for other things that needs to be fixed. If I could, well, you can touch lava without dying. You just can't like cover yourself in it. Like you, you can like you can touch a stove top without dying. No, you wouldn't melt. You're not made out of metal. You okay. might get caught. I am. You might get lit on fire. Shut up, Bright. <laughs> you might get lit on fire if you're not doing it right. Lava is hot enough to melt skin. Well, yes, but you yourself wouldn't melt. Like, if you just touch the lava, you're not going to immediately die. Like, you would... Like, if you want to die immediately from lava, you would have to pro you would probably need to dunk your head in it. What do you mean that feels false? Why why would why would simply touching an extremely hot thing immediately kill you? Unless you have like some other wildly like influential factors. Like there are people who like stick their hands in furnaces uh, for a living. Over and over again. The lava is depends on if it's cooled or not cooled. Yeah, that too. I, I I assume that here we're assuming molten lava. Affected by the heat. Molten lava actually... can melt cars. It can melt people. It's yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess the the. The caveat is like if you keep your if you just stand in the molten lava for an extended a period of time, obviously you're going to die. But like just touching it wouldn't immediately kill you. Actually, and like if you try to stand in it, you will melt. Well, yeah, but, but that's that's the point. Like just touching it is what we're talking about. Like just take your hand, touch it. If you touch it with your hand, your hand will melt. I mean, your hand's going to get severely burnt, and it probably reasonably would melt a decent bit of the flesh. No, you don't win, Chu. You would not die. You would not immediately die just by touching the lava. You would also, not die from touching it with your hand, but you would basically lose your hand. Also, uh, I looked up. Uh, I couldn't find a price for molten lava. You could definitely... I mean, yeah. Definitely lose your hand. You would need to get an induction. To even be near molten lava. Okay, if I spelled that wrong. Begin <laughs> being affected. I don't care if I spelled that wrong. And like, yes, you would begin being affected by like. But let me put it this way: I have literally watched videos of people using induction furnaces to create artificial lava, and then doing experiments with it right there in their backyard. Like, it's dangerous if you're not careful, but, like, it's like any other extremely hot molten liquid. But, hell, I'll literally search this up. There's no way people haven't searched this. Will you die just from touching lava? If I stand corrected, I stand corrected, but this sounds like BS. Lava won't kill you if it barely touches you. You would need, you would get a nasty burn, but unless you fell in and couldn't get out, you wouldn't die. With prolonged contact, the amount of lava coverage and the level of time it was in contact with your skin would be important factors in how s severe your injuries would be. That's from Oregon State University. Anyways, let's get back to the storing. Yeah, for, fu for fuck's sake. I have successfully created a stun lock. Fuck you, Chew. Yeah, fuck you. That feels fa- It's a- It's Oregon State University, you fucking dingus. <laughs> okay, so we got the- The two-sentence paragraph. <laughs> Oregon isn't real. And I guess the Oregon Trail didn't happen, Chew. Oh, God. Name one person you know from Oregon. Um...
Seattle is in Oregon, right? No, that's in Washington. I haven't seen it or been. Well, actually, hell, hell, my mom, like our extended family lives in Oregon, and my mom and dad have both been to Oregon, like huh. on their honeymoon. Hold on, Matt Groening, it came from Oregon. Oh. Fuck, fuck you, too. With Rainer to Simpsons. Oh. How am <laughs> I supposed to know that? <laughs> That's a fake name. Shut up, Chew. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> or Why are about... we having to deal with a science denying mouse in the chat? Or how about Jane Powell? You mean Jane Powell? Yeah, they came who, from Oregon. Who pronounces it Jane Powell? <laughs> I don't know. She was on his debate for a arc. Uh yeah, my mom told a story where uh, in the area of Oregon where they're at, uh, there's like these big, I think they're called banana slugs. They're like non-toxic, but they are absolutely everywhere. And my dad pulled a prank by just placing one of them on my mom's shoulder while they were walking through the uh, the woods. And she flipped her shit. <laughs> well, what about Ann Curry? I don't know that name. Me neither. <laughs> Why did you just look up a list of famous people from Oregon? Yeah, I said famous. I said to Google famous people from Oregon. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you actually. But... Actually, I think I'm pretty sure Kaltia lives up in that region as well. So we literally know someone who lives up around me. Huh, apparently the person who played Dwight lives in Oregon. From the office. I don't know his actual name. They didn't say. Anyway, back to the story. Then ignoring Chew. Scrub it from the record. Yeah, I... What happened? Uh, I said something that I realized I probably shouldn't have said. Oh no. I did not pay attention. I was too busy looking at names. I guess that was a good thing I didn't pay attention. No, what? I'll just go message them and let them know and ask, check to make sure that that's not a major issue. Like, they talk about their general surrounding issues a lot publicly. Uh, oh, doxing. I guess that's what happened. A very light one. I said that they live in a region. Oh. Bad hatchet. Not, <laughs> Sorry. Not state or anything. I'm sorry, Hatchet. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. Apparently. Apparently, my portable AC unit can switch from Celsius to Fahrenheit, depending on where I live. So if I go to a foreign country, it'll, it'll show Celsius. And if I go, if I stay in the U.S., it would be Fahrenheit. Interesting. Sorry, I was distracting myself. <laughs>
Just let me know when you're good to continue. Hmm? That's me. Hatchet. Uh. Uh, Chu says, for the record, I know it's real. I'm messing around. Kelvin is just fucking stupid. Did Hatchet hear me? Oh, wait, no, Hatchet's deafened. I have no way of communicating with Hatchet. You'll just have to wait. Oh, you're talking about a scientific thing for Kelvin, not actual Kelvin as a name. <laughs> no, Chu, I literally thought that you were just talking about an actual person named Kelvin. Again, it's another tip for sale. I did read your messages. I just thought you were talking about an actual person named Kelvin. Don't judge me. Do you think I would just use someone else's name on stream? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I did. No. <laughs> no, fuck you. I might as well just put an intermission while we're waiting. No, fuck off. You'll never force me into the corner. I'll destroy the corner. <laughs> You're the only one who thought that. Hey, Chu, I still find it funny that once Bookworm started talking about Vor, uh, Vor in my chat, that you just magically appeared in my Twitch chat. I, I find that very funny. <sighs> Didn't even notice that. <laughs> Oh, you're back, Hatchet? Yeah, I was messaging them. Uh... Alright, sorry. I put in intermission. Well, just, guess... just let me know when you're ready to go back. Like, it's not that big of an issue. It's just scary. Yeah. They didn't mean to. And... Uh, you alright? I, uh, just a sudden burst of stress. That's fair. We're going to ask if you want head pats. I'm, I'm, no. I'm good. I wonder if anyone will make a head pat machine. Or it just goes up to you and does head pats. It's called furries. <laughs> so you, are you afraid that all furries are machines? I'm, well, protogens. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, persons are technically machines. 
Chew says protogens are sick. Which meaning of sick? As in cool. Ah. Just hire a furry and have them stand in your house. <laughs> just like, just clap your hands. Head pats, please. <laughs> they just go over and head pat you. The only question is, do they get paid hourly or how many pet head pats they give you? <laughs> I mean, if it's only number of head pats then that's either going to get painfully annoying as well as probably break several labor laws. Yeah, so hourly. <laughs> you don't want to fuck with, with furries when it comes to their pay. There's, like, literally was trending that a Starbucks union organizer uh, got fired from their work because the work picked up on that they were furry, so they just started wearing their fursuit to every single protest. <laughs> and they eventually got their job back after a lawsuit. Nice. Uh, yeah, but because of all the union Starbucks has been making, uh, Starbucks took someone out of retirement specifically to deal with the unions and they've been kicking the unions down after. Great. That's great. That's sarcasm. Yes. Anyway, have yes. You, are you all good to go back? I mean, all right. The being stops for a moment and proceeds to say, oh, it's, it's flashing again. I got it. Hold on. Why does it Discord do that? Why does Discord freak out with work? <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's just all of a sudden just <laughs> seizure <laughs> warning. <laughs> My weakness words. I'm glad it doesn't do that on stream because dear God, I don't have that oh, on God, seizure that warning. <laughs> yeah. Bookworm just be over there blinded by the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> She says Discord has just been having issues lately. No idea why. Meh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, the being stops for a moment and proceeds to say, um, being stops for the being stops for a moment and said, probably better. Well, yeah, and stopped. And stopped. Yeah. Wait, and once in trouble fear to being gets and once the threat get got closer, that makes more sense. Wait, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Chu says be back in a bit. Okay, Chu. All right, see you, Chu. I just want to check. It wants to check. It uh, changed said to say. Uh, that's odd. Well, yeah, because the sentence structure is all fucked at the moment. Ah, okay. So there are five people viewing stream. This stream? Yeah. All I'm saying is me. like three people. Ah. Uh. We got me, Chu, Book. Is anyone else in the Discord watching stream? No. Gotcha. Everyone loved editing. Apparently says Book. I realized I should mention to this friend that the stream had very low view count. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not as popular as I wish I was. But if I was having a lot of people in the chat, that I probably would not be in this house. <laughs> oh yeah, I found something interesting about uh, VTuber agencies. 
um, apparently, let's say your computer is broken. They pay for you to have a new one. Uh, really? Yeah, they do that. I mean, it makes sense because it's yeah. quite literally your work. But yeah, apparently the only thing that that you pay for is editors and your do your schedule and choose what games you stream. That's it. They pay for everything else. Yeah, but it's also, at the same time, extremely difficult to get into one. <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm just updating message. I was sending that friend. Ah. Okay. It got like a half hour. I need to do something more. Uh. I already want to aim to at, oh. what was that? Aim to at least fucking finish this page. That's fair. I uh, did change my schedule a bit, so we don't have to worry about not getting as far. Because this stream got really fucked over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the beam stopped for a moment. Too sad. <laughs> and said. Uh, yeah. There we go. Uh, it. Uh, it might be better to take out for a moment. Okay. Docked and said. I like how I went from 8,900 words to 8,650 words. We're editing so far. Damn. We deleted so many words. I I think partially because, like, you had... You, you have a notable tendency of, like, adding a whole bunch of unnecessary fluff. Yeah. Probably from high school. Yes, because high school yeah. word teaching wasn't great. Especially saying put the word have the word said be capitalized out of quotation marks. Um, okay. <laughs> so the thing is with school, they pretty much want you to like yep. do like pages of work. Yeah, and like his and, word counts. Mm -hmm. yeah. And because of that, you will inevitably make flow. I'm checking at the because... source because I want. Uh, you can go ahead. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh. Because you will like. So. Mm -hmm. You will make flow. You will do flow because. That's pretty much how you like how many students will want to get past get through it right because you're a kid mm. you don't want to like do all like and well like also like sometimes what you're the topic you're writing on you're just like confused yeah. on how to like continue at some point so how do I use the most amount of words to say the least amount of shit? You <laughs> just uh, you just described Jordan Peterson's entire career. <laughs> and Ben Shapiro's. True. Oh, Ben Shapiro's even worse. Yeah. Also, um, so much fluff. I I were I remember in sixth grade that we we were given an assignment to write. An eighteen thousand word essay about what we did this summer. Oh, oh god! Oh. All I did was play video okay. games all day, and in the summer, I was like, "Fuck!" On on day one of my summer, I 
uh, beat the first level of game Y. Uh, then I beat the next level of game Y. <laughs> As a fucking 12-year-old. failed as to say, when you brush your teeth, at what point of the day, what food you ate when, when you slept. Yeah, I can't remember that shit. Like, when I do it in a week, I wouldn't be able to remember it for the entire summer. So, so, uh, to continue on to that story... I turned it in. I actually did it. They got mad at me and said, tell me to redo it because I talked too much about video games. So I took the book, I am number four, and just copied what they, the summer parts of it and put it there and gave it to them. They liked it. <laughs> they didn't even fact check it. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, they wouldn't normally be expecting kids of this age to start engaging in plagiarism, but they had that coming. Yeah. <laughs> okay. no, they had that plagiarized. coming as soon as they gave you that. They, they had that coming as soon as they gave you that assignment. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. But anyway, I was going to say, in the previous chapter, I want to try to diversify uh, word usage rather than just constantly saying said, 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 said. So maybe in the previous uh, paragraph, instead of uh, the being said sinisterly, I was thinking uh, the being, uh, how about the being grimly uh, declared? And then we could take out sinisterly. You like that? Yeah. Holy shit, I spelled Grimly right. Man, it's not the hardest word to say. It's pretty, it's pretty simple to spell. Anyway, back back to where we were. Uh, uh, being stopped and... Yeah, said for the time again. Uh, where are my manners? I'm laughing... <sighs> I'm Laffy Miss Lafferson. I'd. S you said Laffy Miss Lafferson. No, I said Mick. I know I said Mick. I heard Laffy Miss Lafferson. You're the only one who heard that, right? Then I guess that was just me, but that made me laugh. Um, I was gonna say you could uh change the period to an exclamation point. Okay. Femme Laffy confirmed. <laughs> The thing is, Laffy doesn't have a specified gender or sex, so... Neutral Laffy confirmed. <laughs> yeah, so they could be a femboy. I thought we already established that they were just androgynous without, like, a they would be, like, agender. Oh, yeah. They they would be agender, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> they shapeshift, Full yeah. Yeah, f fully, like, in, in their most comfortable state, like, a gender with a more masculine uh, gender expression. Yeah. Um, okay. The creed. Oh, wait, no, this is a, this is a cutoff sentence, so maybe, uh, no exclamation point, uh, lowercase t, and put a comma, yeah comma there and then put an exclamation point at the end of the sentence the creator and host of this fabulous show you s seem so disgusted by which is why it left me in such a disarray as to why you would hate the show uh to be clear i think during these statements yeah. um these would be happening in present tense. Like, these are the things that... Like, this is recounting what they said, so I think it's fair to keep them in present tense. Okay, I, I took away... I put the ED away. Yeah. 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 Show you seem so disgusted by. 
so disgusted by. <laughs> Which is why it left me in such a disarray as to why you would hate the show. That's such a disarray. Oh as to why you would hate this show. Everyone in the audience loved it. All the contestants love it. Hell, even some people at the Cursed Foundation love my show. Which is why I must ask, the, can the... you help me format this tweet? <laughs> yeah, I, I cringed. Like, I don't know why I was thinking when I did that. Hey, I, I one, one thing. So go ahead, Adina. Personally, personally, I would have put like uh, the three dot. Like, is it called an? What is it called? El ellipsis. 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 Yeah. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna write out how I would. I'm gonna write out how I would handle this. Yeah, because I wanted him to say like the words once, one at a time. But it. But that's oh. not how you do that. Why do you feel actually like I feel like not like every like word like yeah I feel like why do you feel this guy like with so like, yeah disgusted by my show disgusted by my show yeah yeah. <laughs> So like, it would be, yeah. That, that would be more natural for him to do. Yeah, I'm just looking at that part of the sentence. Uh, that sentence, I'm cringing right right now. Yeah, I can't and stare at much, it. And, and Adirna <laughs> basically just described exactly how I formatted it. Ah. <laughs> Why do you feel disgusted by my show? Yeah, and probably get rid of the capitalization. <laughs> Everything's in all caps. Well, well, yeah, no shit. Please do, gods. <laughs> that's that's boomer. Yeah, that's 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 boomer. Accidentally hit caps lock while trying to say something homophobic. Probably. <laughs> there we go. I changed it. Okay. Why do you feel? Uh. No, I, 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 I forgot this. So personally, I, personally, I would like. Personally, I would put like more question marks and expl exclamation points because this is more like like that hatchet. More. Yeah. Um. I mean, that's the thing. Like, is is that a common thing in like more, uh, professional writing? So, like I. So like I don't know. But like for, for me, like it feels like it. So I feel like to me that fits better with like all of the other like exclamation points before. It kind of like brings that out a little bit more. I think. Oh no! Yeah. Okay. I can. Like, I can. I can get that. <laughs> add okay. Another extra, add another question mark after that last. Okay. No, oh, I, I feel like point. I feel like it's good asymmetrical. Yeah. Okay. Also, I want to read something that Bookham said. Lamal, this automated email from Twitch, they know I watch you a lot, but don't know that I'm already subbed to you. They want me to sub to you. Sub to them, Bright. I mean... <laughs> sub to myself. Do it, Bright. Sub to yourself. It's the only way to get that sub count up. <laughs> oh, my head hurts. But otherwise, like, this is actually a pretty well put together... Uh, paragraph. The first paragraph that's actually mainly well put together. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Laffy's almost well, like, on because top it's of... mostly a quote, so that's that's probably yeah. why. Yeah. yeah. Laffy is almost. Laffy was almost on top of them asking this question. I was getting sexual tension right here. I'm change. sorry. <laughs> yeah, change, change, the change like the yeah. tenses of. The is yeah. Uh, was yeah. Yeah. Was too scared to was. say anything. 
I, I want to say uh, get rid of the at this point and uh, combine uh, uh, and make a laffy. compound sentence with Laffy. Yes, so. And then Laffy took. Wait, laffy to say took anything one. and Laffy took. And Laffy, yeah. Maybe sit and uh, say something. Laffy took. Uh, let's say instead of one more step, let's say another step. So there's another and. Yeah, and end that sentence there. And then that, that, yeah, that, and that Aaron, and then a pitch block and let just get rid of and and capitalize B. Pitch block the pitch block the. P. Uh, apparently, the word says put a comma right there. No. I mean, no, I wouldn't put a comma there. The word says otherwise. I mean, words, words saying, like, that that would be appropriate. Yeah, it's appropriate, but it's, I don't... It's a, I'm it's a compound. ...against it. Well, yeah, but it's a compound sentence. Who should I side with, a dirt or a handshake? Like, we've got the two sentence parts. Aaron was too scared to say anything. Laffy took another step towards Aaron. Those are two sentence parts. So you need Oxford comma. You need the comma before the end. And. But you're not choose. <laughs> I mean, at this point, you at this point, I think it's better to just say choose word. Word saying to put a comma there. Yeah. <laughs> uh okay, where the fuck where where the fuck? Pitch black amulet. Yeah, the pitch black amulet began to glow as well. Be began I uh, I would say uh yeah, began to glow, take out as well as and replace it with and. There's another and, though. Uh, let's, yeah, let's go. And a static sound uh, began to glow. And a and static sound um, uh, uh, grew louder and louder. Yeah, or increasingly louder. Could take out the and louder. Yeah. Grew increasingly louder. Right? Why did you get rid of the G? Gosh. Like you literally keep giving yourself more work. As Laffy drew near. Yeah. And I think I think that can be combined with the above I, paragraph. Yeah, combined with the next. With the and, next paragraph, yeah. Yeah, I think all three of these can be combined into one paragraph. Why is... Uh, I'll probably space that. Yeah, do a space there. What's the one of me to change uh, about Lappy's name? <laughs> uh -huh. As a static sound. Oh, glow, oh, comma. Uh, Bookworm says, so do as a static sound. That actually might work better. Like, if you change and to uh, began to glow as a static sound grew increasingly louder. Oh, wait, no, we already have an as. Yeah, so... so <laughs> we I think already have an as. <laughs> I said as, not an ass. <laughs> and we do already have an ass. It's called bright. Hey! Uh, 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 a static sound grew increasingly louder. Hmm. Uh, I I think I think this works well the way we have it. All right. Um. Let's uh let's change Laffy for he. 
or oh, they, yeah. whichever whichever pronoun you want to use for Laffy. Probably they. Or in in the in the next in the next sentence, yeah, there there. There. <laughs> Very. <laughs> Sorry. Shut up. <laughs> Give me a second, my god. The E and R are right next to each other. <laughs> Three. It sounds like someone who's new to English trying to spell three. <laughs> or how uh new pronouns dropped. <laughs> theory ther. <laughs> or how theory uh, theory theory theory. I still f I find it funny how some Irish YouTube creators I watch instead of saying three they say tree. Tree. <laughs> I'm going to go to the, down to the tree. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's like it's wearing a wooden onesie. <laughs> I heard that as like Irish slang for coffin. Oh, God. Wooden onesie is a coffin. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. It's, Irish slang is a beautiful thing. Oh yeah, like Aussie Maybe kiss. Got it. Yeah, and like similar to uh, <laughs> Scottish slang, they they both have like this unique flavor of yeah. absurdity that's great. <laughs> or or how they call diarrhea ass shoes for some strange reason. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Don't I, I I appear to be dealing with the ass shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I just want an Irish person to come to America and say that to a doctor, and they just stare at them. I, I've been in, I've been dealing with the ash juice, doctor. <laughs> That's close to the Scottish, I think. Yeah. Or whatever. It's really hard to distinguish between those accents. Yeah. But anyway, moving on. Um. Uh, they st stopped moving towards Aaron. Hmm. Oh yeah, word fix stopped and muttered. It, it was like stop yeah, let's see. and stop and mutter. So yeah. They are among us. The herdy here bright. They are among us. Among us. <laughs> oh wait, come to think of it, uh I think it does work for like previously it said uh stopped moving for a moment or they're being stopped for a moment i realized that probably was good to leave in because it then continues to, like after that to directly imply that they kept moving yeah so maybe go back and change that's so being stopped for a moment or momentarily stop uh where momentarily works better at the start of the paragraph at the beginning Start the paragraph, yeah. It means stopped for a. Oh, stop momentarily. Oh, momentarily, yes. Okay. I'm trying. Lee. Do you know how hard oh, it is to it. You messed it. You missed it. I fixed it. It just moved the letters around. Or it's like, I already know you fucked there. I'm gonna fuck this up. <laughs> you know, I mean, no offense when I say this. But earlier today, I got a chance to hang out with Vernie for a while, and I mentioned that these streams are basically uh, us as a community, as a little group of friends, trying to use what I think to be our significantly broader uh, vocabularies and understanding of grammar to help uh, decode and make better the writing of the person with the actual vision like bright's got the vision yeah. but we're over here trying to desperately salvage <laughs> the writing yeah. because it's it's fucking it's it's in chaos it's absolute ass <laughs> I, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie bright i love you but it's <laughs> a lot of moments is just it breaks me Bert has a vision, but you're in a class of lols. As well. <laughs> oh, I like that. 
there. Go ahead. Where was it? Uh, I was just I was just saying I like that to what Bookworm said. Yeah, Bookworm yeah. said Bright has the vision, but you're the glasses. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh my gosh. I'm just gonna say there's gonna be a bunch of issues in the next chapter, chapter four. Because I've never written a war arc before. <laughs> You've never written a what? A war arc. Like, a war, a war arc, in gotcha. writing, yeah. So it's going to have some issues. <laughs> like, that, you could also, uh, you might also, like, so there's somebody you might want to, I think, <sighs> Momo could, like, you could, like, ask Momo for, like, advice, potentially. But yeah. He, So, wait, Bright has the vision and you're the glasses. Yeah. We are the glasses. Anyway, let's go back to where we were. Chew says chew no like laundry. Laundry That's like chew. Oh, wait, why did I do? Why did I do that? I don't know. I mean, why does chew yeah. not like? That's a real question. Why does Chu not like laundry when Chu wishes to be treated like a particular sock? <laughs> oh my god, my god. Chu is laundry. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Chu is confused. Well, okay. To be what fair, are you to be fair. right now? <laughs> We're, te we're saying you like to be stuffed. Oh, and then and oh, okay. In that case, yeah. I, I'm I'm saying that you are in fact a piece of laundry because you want to be used like the sock. <laughs> this is true. You know the sock, that one sock that everyone knows about. The cum sock. Oh my god. Well, Bright just took away all the ambiguity. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> That's gonna be clipped. Like I don't know, where, like it just be saying "come suck." Yeah, like like Adurna and I are trying to like slither around the word to make it a bit more ambiguous, and then you just <laughs> fucking Kool Aid man your way in. I was, I was barely even saying the thing, so. Well, yeah, yeah. it was still funny. Uh. Anyway, let's try to at least get through this paragraph before the end of the night. Oh, wow, there's a lot of paragraphs. That's why I said this paragraph. We need to get at least through half of the page. Which is right here. <laughs> the yeah, exactly. So, uh, they then said... Uh, exclamation park after the first glitch. I was going to say, uh... There's actually one thing I want to change, and I'll show you what it is. Mm -hmm. It's because I didn't capitalize his, their full name later on in the story. So there's no reason to have it fully capitalized here. So you have, you have also have it, like, down... Yeah, I will fix that. Yeah. Because there's no reason to have it capitalized, and that's not how their name's supposed to be. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say, uh, they stopped moving. I, I want to say instead of they stopped moving towards Aaron, I'd say just take out, uh, stopped moving, uh, no, 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 keep in, stop, my brain. Take out towards and Aaron. So it's just, they stopped moving and muttered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that, that, that get. It just gets rid of like because you already know she's they're moving towards her. Yeah. Yeah. So Again, like just say what's moving. Lots of unnecessary repetition. Yeah. Which especially irritates my brain. Um, let's see. Damn glitch. Dumb glitch. You just had to come out of nowhere. Oh no. It just had to come out of nowhere. 
No. Oh, just had to come out now. Do I actually need three periods right there? Just had to come out now. I think that's an appropriate use of the ellipsis. Okay. Um. Oh wait. No, maybe. Now is British? Why? <laughs> Bookworm's crying. Uh. Actually, well, yeah. Is it, may, or is it uh, Chu who's crying because Chu doesn't like the British? No, it's Bookworm because they're saying why cry, cry uh, emoji. Actually, yeah. Get rid of the ellipse and change it to a question mark. Oh, oh I was thinking, Jesus oh, wait, Christ! Question mark. Yeah, you just had to come out now. Let's see. Then they sighed and said, "That's really redundant." Um. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'd you need us. I would just, I would just continue. Well, like, I'm, okay, I'm thinking... if you put the ellipses, you could just get rid of that entire thing and just go continue on to look. Yeah. Er... And I would, I would kind of like give you that space you were kind of looking for, right? Well, I, I think, I think we do need to keep. Like that in between section to preserve the like change in tone. Because like it, it, it moves from Laffy being very blatantly aggressive to sighing and backing away from being aggressive. So I think we do need to keep that. It's just worded in a way that doesn't sit right with me. All right. Um side and yeah, they... They sighed and... Hmm. Sorry. Honestly, okay. So let's see. What did you use before? Okay, so you had said up there. I feel like sighed and muttered would work better there. So you might change mm. the muttered from the other thing. They... Okay, wait. Uh, mm. They stopped moving and... They stopped moving and muttered. Mm, but at the same time, uh, I feel they... like we shouldn't use a muttered twice there. Let me... The oh, Yeah, that's why I, I, was, I was trying to say, like, let's get remove the muttered like a, right before that, because I feel like that doesn't really fit anyways with what is said. Hmm. Okay, so um, yeah, so yeah, in in the abut like b uh, before damn glitch, you could get rid of uh, you can make okay. that 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 start to just say they stopped moving. Uh, period has the voice line, and then uh, goes on to they sighed and muttered. There we go. Muttered. Look, it would be pointless to kill. Kill one that can okay. no. Wait, wait, wait. So, so uh, because of that, right? Go to they, the they like right before they saw the they and they side and muttered. Make you? that uh, get, get rid of the capitalization. Oh right, right yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. I'm so used to not doing wait. it to school. Or wait, no, I think that. Well, I was so I was saying that because like, it kind of connects both of those things. That's what mm. I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Right. right, yeah, but we're still moving. Like we're moving on between two different sentences. Like we're putting something between two different sentences. So should we try to basically make it a really long compound or? Do two separate sentences. Well, Warren didn't say to correct it. Yeah. They sighed. Well, like, word doesn't really 
isn't always mm -hmm. accurate anyway, so... Yeah. Maybe... Hmm. Okay, how about... Uh, let me... Let me pull out... Show chat. Let me try writing this. Okay, so... Wait. <laughs> Damn it. I couldn't make my character go all the way down off screen. As much as I wanted them to. Can I stop getting emails from Adam and Eve? What? what oh, yeah. The, God damn it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did I break your thing? Your concentration? Slightly. <laughs> no, laughing, not laugh. Laugh became... Thinking something like that. Just like have a, a smaller sentence to describe the tone shift and then move on to the next statement. <laughs> Chu, what do you do? A L is for lovers who love one another. A is for ass of which I like to eat. <laughs> uh, that's what we're doing now. U is for underwear. I wanna. <laughs> I don't know. Damn, forgot the rest. <laughs> well, but yeah, that, that works. That works a lot better. Yeah. So, yeah, that. Uh, side right. Word. Yeah. So, what do I change now? Like, like what hatch? Yeah. So, like what hatch? Um, put in recording V and put uh, it yeah, just... where we decide in motor turn in. Yeah. Just stamp it in there. Make... Yeah. Yeah, no, don't get rid of it. Oh, never mind. I was going to say, don't get rid of the. Uh, you should probably get rid of that uh, period and put a comma. There you go. Oh, no, I think I was thinking it would be just one, like a different sentence, and then the next statement would just be a new sentence. Okay. After he became visibly frustrated, sighing deeply before continuing. Look, it would be pointless to kill one that can no longer die. It seems your little friend doesn't seem to, it seems your little friend doesn't seem to want me and it to anyway. seemed here or I don't know. A friend That's <laughs> really get get get, get rid of the second scene. And I'm thinking, like, I don't know. It feels a touch wordy to say pointless to kill one that can no longer die. So maybe, like, say something more like an immortal? Pointless to kill, kill an immortal? Yeah. Like, I'm just thinking, like, it, it could be less, less wordy. Which well, still confused Bryce. She lost all of her memories. <laughs> I mean, obviously, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if she had her memory, she probably 
wouldn't I know why she's immortal. Will confuse her at this point. Yeah. Everything's gonna confuse her, and she's scared shitless. So. It seems your little friend doesn't want, doesn't too want me to anyway. It seems your little friend doesn't, get rid of the two, doesn't, yeah, like, you need to get rid of the seam two that you added there for no reason. Why did you add seam two? No. Initially. Oh no. Who's your little friend doesn't want me to anyway? Oh no, she came up for a great concept for a Mr. Beast video. Or what if, okay, what if instead of doesn't want me to, won't allow me to anyway? Oh, that might, that might work better. Doesn't seem like your little friend will allow me to anyway. Chu, you're an awesome person, but I do, I'm... Allow me to. Allow me to. Not will allow me to. Mr. Beast. Will allow me. What was that, Dara? Oh yeah, it's it says it seem maybe say it does, maybe say it doesn't seem your little friend will allow me to. Yeah. Or you could say, uh, it seems your little friend won't allow me to. You would either need to get rid of the will, and say won't, or add the doesn't there. Whichever, whichever and it doesn't like seem your little friend will allow me to anyway. To anyway. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, we got through this paragraph. Uh. Chu says, I hunted 1,000 transfers for sport. Here's what happened. I've been seeing that meme all over the place. Ha, you Chu, you're not original. Come up with that. You're not original, Chu. You just added more transphobes. Yeah. And some extra words. What? Wait, did you actually not see that? There was like a... F <laughs> <Fuck>. there, there, <laughs> yeah, there was like a parody thumbnail going around that was like Mr. Beast surrounded by people sprinting away and, and it is like hunting down... or uh, <laughs> Like hunting a hundred transphobes for sport or something along those lines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I saw that any everywhere. Damn it, someone just retweeted <laughs> onto my timeline. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry, true originality is dead. Chewinality. Small chew tantrum. Listen, chew. If if it helps, no matter what, nothing is completely original. Everything has already been done at some point. Uh-huh. It's just the, the the creative process becomes finding new ways to do the same thing people have already done before. Yeah. Yes, everyone's played like every like every so like everyone has played every single note in the same or in like one order one time at like one time. Oh, that's a wonderful and it's three of us. Unless, unless you're like talking about like potential, unless you're talking about like, um, or like, like quarter tones and stuff like that, like where it's like, unless you're like going into like sounds that are like a lot different than what we're used to. Yeah. Yeah, tones that are like completely different. I accidentally summoned the music nerd. Um, I've been here, so I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I sum I summoned the music nerd from within Aderna to the surface. But isn't uh, I'm already always a music nerd. Well, yeah, I've always been a music nerd. Yeah. I imagine I imagine every I imagine everyone as an ocean and various things come to the surface at various times. Oh, I'm I like, feel I'm like a music nerd. Nerd. I'm literally in our like my music the music building currently, so 
So then, so then in this case, the ocean is music nerd. It's made out of liquefied music. I'm gonna stop with this. I feel like to me, I imagine myself like a library, like everyone's their own library, and probably too many of my books involve pumpkin. That, that's I do awesome. think. I still think one of my favorite analogies is the ship of Theseus. Like, we've both been, like, uh, dealing with, like, existential philosophical ponderings, but just, like, everyone individually. Meh. Liquid music sounds like a euphemism for something. I feel like that would be, like, a euphemism for some kind of hallucinogen. Wait, what? Uh, Chu says liquid music sounds like a euphemism for something. I hope uh, she got a bong because of that. Yeah, she got a bong. I I didn't take it dirty. I I feel I feel like. I feel like it could be. The emote isn't done yet. Anyway, oh, yeah, true. In the future, we can save on, uh channel points for bright by just using the emote instead of using bonk to chew anyways this is or it for now it. if i remember yeah uh book on last words go okay. hopefully tomorrow when I we need... do this again it won't be as bad i need to find some place with a step emote so i can do my my little routine Chu <laughs> starts like doing extra bark upon being upon the mention of stepping. Apparently, Bust is upset. Yeah. Why is Bust upset? Because he knows exactly. Because I'm I'm not in the bed right now. Bust is like get in bed. It is sleep time. He's also gonna be more upset because he knows. The way how I act today, that I have to go to work tomorrow. He's picked Aww. up on it. He's like, I, I, I don't want this. You stay here. <laughs> Your new job is Busta. I wish Busta I could stay home all now. day and work that way. Busta would like it too. <laughs> but I can't. I saw a really funny copy pasta, and not even funny, like a nice little thing where what? someone was like, uh, I can do my laundry. You can do your laundry. Where someone was uh, like typed out uh, uh, like in a poetic manner. In these trying times, ask yourself, could this meeting could this how was it done? Could this work be done from home? Could this meeting have been an email? Could this email have been a text? Could this text not have been sent? Could we all have simply walked into the forest and disappeared among the trees? The fuck? Did you just quote the attack on titan copy pasta like hatchet. comment subscribe and follow Wait, bright if you like this titan editing thing? stream with very little editing also give bright money to aid and drambles forest in one episode but oh yeah the children of the forest yeah it's also, used a couple times also uh bookworm said like comment subscribe and follow bright if you like this editing stream with very little editing also give bright money to aid and drambles What the fuck is end rambles? I had to push ND rambles close together for space. Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. Uh, Jerry, are you here? Oh, I'm being called. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess that's an answer to my question. <laughs> Are you here, Jerry? 
Oh god. <laughs> you good, Jerry? Thank you. Jerry, we have been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. Come back. I've been through the whole time. I just had to step a few things away from the computer to the laundry room right next to this room. Oh, okay. I have to do my laundry like an adult. Okay. Uh, Jerry, I was just about to ask you, what's your last words for stream? <laughs> Interesting last words. Did you hear food's last words? No. Food, would you like to make the sound again? <laughs> Did you pick that up? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, uh, Two last words go. Um, I hate college so very much. And, um, remember if your pizza crust is fucked, then your entire pizza is fucked. I like my pizza burnt, so that doesn't bother me. No, I mean, like, if the way your pizza crust is made, like when you're making the pizza, if the pizza if the pizza crust isn't good, then your whole pizza is ruined. No matter what you put on it, it's ruined. So I shouldn't make my pizza crust look zi look like zigzags. No, I'm I'm pretty sure you can get creative with your pizza. He was I... not saying you can't like be creative. They're saying if you the crust you made tastes bad. Uh... Then thing is bad. They're not talking you, about how you cook it or how you shape it. Or you don't make it right because every bite of every bite of a pizza is going to have crust in it. Got it. Alright. So Alright, hatchet, last words go. <clears throat> oh wait, I forgot we skipped the throne. <laughs> wait, bookworm no <laughs> What did what do? Do? That makes sense, so, so don't stick a dick in a pizza. <laughs> oh Sorry, Adirna. Adirna, last words go. Wait. Isn't that like... Ref oh my god. I'm... Adirna? I love, I love how I'm like on... I'm like inside i have like i follow like furry twitter a little bit so like i kind of know that reference oh no yeah. anyway i don't know last words go um follow subscribe Ready to the bird. God damn it. Hatchet. Last words. Don't go. Okay. Anyway, go. <laughs> Sick. It's the devil in me. There's a devil in me as well. And in Kaya and everyone else. This world, the world is like this because there's a devil in all of us. And how do we stop this? Oh my God. We get it. We get out of the forest. Even if we can't, we have to keep trying. I like Attack on Titan quotes, yay. All right, my last words is because my asexuality, I'll never have a penis in me. Uh, I just thought of a comeback, but I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Technically, if you, you if you get the chocolate penis, then you'll still have one in you. Oh, God. <laughs> God that sounds God, so God, wrong. God, that sounds I... so wrong out of context. <laughs> I want one so badly. Oh my god. Someone <laughs> mail me one. Are you serious? Yeah. Yes, it's chocolate. You know I love chocolate. 
<laughs> and it's a dick. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and you love dick. Throne? No, I don't have one. And you're never going to know a bookworm. <laughs> Get a just, throne. Just send it to... No, I don't want a throne. I don't want people sending me stuff. That makes me paranoid. You're like, don't send me stuff right. when I want you to send me stuff. Yes, I am very contradictory. That's part of the fun. No, it's not. It's oh, fun God. for me, and that's what matters. You know what? If we do Secret Santa again this year, I'm going to buy you one and send it to you if I get you. I don't. I, don't, I think we're just gonna be hanging around like last last time. We just, if you want to give each other presents, we can. But we would just hang out in Discord. All okay. day. Just, mm. Yeah. Because when we did that Christmas thing, it was utter chaos. Yeah. I had fun making that drawing for toast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway. Oh, I work with a chocolate dick to chew. Got it. Well, oh. or oh, raven. God. Any Corvid, really. Smart burp. Anyway, see you later, I, Danger Noodles. Wait, wait, no. Before, before the stream is over, it is very important. Uh, I follow a Twitter account called Dumb Fuck Detector that does polls to, like, vote in the stupidest possible tweets that they found during each week. And the, uh, the polls are in for this week. Or like the options are in that we can vote on, and I just, uh, I just want to read out some of these these tweets. Are any of them mine? No. Damn it. Okay, so the first one is, uh, men do not have breasts. Uh, typed out like bright typed that one statement. We've got uh, we've got. A fetus has a little brain by week two and can grab with its hand by week five. Technically, men have breasts. They're just different than female breasts. Well, yeah, that's 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 the point. All of these are just incredibly stupid. That's like the people joke. not understanding things. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, abortion is way worse than slavery. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, and then uh, a okay, response. No. A response? Only men have orgasms? Oh no, it's my pants. Tightening of muscles and tingling oh, no, doesn't like equal ejaculation. That are like, I don't think women can have orgasms because I oh, never wait. gave them any. Oh wait, <laughs> that wasn't a reply. That was just another one. Another entry here is uh, there are multiple human species dot lol. There are not anymore. Uh, we've, yeah, we've uh, we've got technically the vagina. The vagina. We've got Ooh. another one here that says technically the vagina is outside the body. <laughs> what? I can feel my IQ going <laughs> down just listening to this, and it wasn't exactly uh, high to begin with. Okay, we've got. Uh, in Maryland, the baby can be killed up to 28 days after birth. I highly doubt that. <laughs> also, murdering an innocent person is immoral. Owning a slave was legal. Does that make it right? Of course not. <laughs> We've got someone who said, non-human animals are people. Do you agree? <laughs> so all animals are people. This... And the final, the final one that's up for the vote is, for the record, we have all. You know what? I'm not gonna a uh, bad naughty word, uh, non-consensual naughties. Oh Jesus for the Christ! Record, we have all non-consensually done things to someone. Ever no. Had... Um, no. Self-report. Oh. No! Yeah, and then and then the person no the person goes on to say ever had sex with a drunk person? Self report. Then, then you blah blah blah. Yeah, it's uh, just. I think she's right about the self self report. Thing. So much self report. Oh. Okay. Oh god. 
So with that one statement, it made me remember something. I remember a cop coming in and clearly stating that a woman could never rape a man that that's gotten drunk. Uh, that that, that statement has is a bigoted statement that many people believe. It can be very hard for a man to get help from an abuse yeah. and to get away from an abuser because people will not believe them if the abuser is female. Yeah, but studies have shown that women are just as likely to abuse, but they are more likely to use mental abuse over physical abuse. Oh, I think I think I saw like studies that show that the rates are generally just like slightly lower in women, but they're still very comparable. Mm, from what I've read, the physical fair. abuse is more high in men, but the mental abuse is yeah. higher in women. So yeah, like like in in terms of like. Yeah, what I mean is, like, in terms of, like, between the, amount the two of, sex. amount who abuses who depends on the country. Yeah, true. Plus, I, plus, I'm willing to say that the rates are higher. It's just that they aren't oh, yeah. because people don't come forward. Oh, yeah, like, the these, uh, I'm wanting, I'm willing to guess that a lot of these rates are uh, basically trying to also take into account how rare these things are reported overall. Yeah. Like reporting rates are really low for this stuff. But yeah, to be clear, the men can't be R-worded. Uh, that has shown up in these polls many times. Oh, no. Ah! Anyway. Someone's saying some variation of that. So what's the status on that volcano? How's that coming along? Um, <laughs> Uh, like I said, I we need, need like need a, a status report. We need an induction of them. Oh. Uh, does I, anyone have access I to? Just, an I just need to. I just need to convert my. I just need to convert my pronouns into a, a functioning volcano. That's that's it. <laughs> Excellent. Let's get on. Anyway, that. Uh, <laughs> see you later, Danger Noodles. I hope I'll see you again tomorrow as we try to hopefully finish chapter two. <laughs> oh no, wait, I haven't been looking at. I haven't I haven't been looking at stream chat. <laughs> Bookworm's been having a time. Yeah, anyway. Uh, see you later, Danger yeah. Noodles. Oh, wait, first, let me see if there's anyone I'm any I can raid. No. Because manly equals punching. Call the cops on that person. Also, Ajana, apparently here according to Bookworm, apparently your mouth is a volcano. Yep. Yeah, there's a dragon. Three, fire or some other thing. Two, one.